Jeff, when you drink, you do not get wet. <laughs> usually dries me out. That's yeah. usually. <laughs> so there is I mean, a. But you never dry out. I mean, come on. Oh, you see a monster there, Bob. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's okay. No, it's okay. You, you could have seen it from the bridge. You could have seen it from outside. Um, As we dance our goblin on a pole. Goblin on a stick. Goblin on a stick. <laughs> it is a goblin on a stick. <laughs> no, a stick, stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This goblin nobly gave its life noble so that we could continue. <laughs> we don't know if it was noble. Maybe it died when it had an aneurysm in its head while it was pooping. You do not know. It could have been very unnoble. You do not know this. It is noble now. Through its death, whether the death be noble or not, the sacrifice itself becomes noble. It could have been scared to death. <laughs> so you are, you are saying being stuck with your dead body on a stick like a puppet is very noble. To save the lives of five other people? Yes, I believe that, that is very noble. I would like to put a stick up your butt and see if you also agree like that it is noble. As hey, well. hey, hey! Mr. Roboto is watching us. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is it, is it the whole, like. Solar system? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. This, this is pretty much quiet. say something cool, guys. <laughs> I fell on my bottom. <laughs> when we last left our crew. If I if I am dead, go for it. Mm-hmm. Until then, good luck. Trigger, mm-hmm. did you hear that? I see on a stick. I see on a stick. With a lizard on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> New space I, I, restaurant I, I, idea. That's, that's actually stick. a food from Fallout, from the original Fallout. What was that, Mikey? I said, I, said I, 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 I think that's crazy to put a uh, lizard on a stick. You are right. He is too big. We need a big stick. <laughs> a big More like a staff, maybe. I think maybe. we need a bigger stick. I think we are going to need a bigger stick, yes. Bigger stick. All right, so at last we left our crew. <laughs> they had uh, traveled via the hippocampus to the Acreon. The amygdala. <laughs> During the tra- uh, transit, they were attacked by a... Did everybody read the write-up? Yes. yes. You, you all suck. I did. You all I suck. I if I wasn't reading Give me your chip back. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to take a chip back of you if you don't read it. But I remember what happened. I remember what happened, too. I know what happened. I was paying attention. I'm not, t- I'm not giving it back. Give Going back. forward, if you don't read the write-up, you lose your you lose a Betty. I was oh, reading boy. for work, handwriting a script for <laughs> if work. If I gotta put the effort in, that's you guys can spend two minutes. I agree. So you you also spent two minutes writing chips, it, though. Or? I was here. I know. That's that's why. <laughs> that's the I point. <laughs> uh, you guys were attacked by a necro glider. Uh, you managed to disable it. It flew off to wherever you don't know. Uh, you successfully land docked at the aft um, airlock, where all cell phones stopped working. I'm texting uh, Joe reading. about my lab. This is actual like stuff important to my grade. What so I am listening. What, did, what were you doing all day? This is not something that is taking my full attention. I am listening. I just want to know what you were doing today. I was taking a break and having a fun day. <laughs> Josh, what were you doing all day today? Don't talk about it. <laughs> he was with you, so I can't imagine it was all that great a day. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> Awesome. I think she gets a penny for that. <laughs> <laughs> she gets the keepers. Uh, you you successfully docked to the aft uh, airlock to the Acreon, which was open. You sealed it. Uh, you repressurized the ship. Once you did, you actually get to engineering. However, you encountered uh, several Akata along the way. What the hell? They hurt. They are bad. How would you, you know? They haven't touched you. I know, but they looked really bad. You were, like, bleeding and stuff. It was <laughs> it, it, You were bleeding. It was in a bad. very un-RPG way. You guys uh, discovered a goblin body in the main corridor and bypassed <coughs> every side corridor to go directly to the bridge. Yeah, I was asleep for that point. That's not cool. There's, uh, just there's no up. atmosphere right that in that the anymore. ship, right? I believe you repressurized the ship from engineering. Oh, we did. That's right. Okay. So, uh, per the way it's written, you're only supposed to do it from the bridge, but I found that stupid. It's engineering. You should be able to engineer stuff from there. <laughs> I, I agree with you. <laughs> so... The uh, you made it to the you you found the body of the dead goblin. You went back to engineering, found a GNDN pipe, goes nowhere, does nothing. Tore it off the wall, impaled the goblin, and he is now your goblin on a stick. I I would say though that um, I assume Ozzy is the one manipulating him. Some Ozzy, he Ozzy is Ozzy. manipulating oh, him. Oh yeah, of course. So Ozzy does not have a weapon Ozzy. in his hand. What's that? Ozzy does not have a weapon in his no, hand. No, he doesn't. He's got a quick draw attachment to his armor. Yep. <laughs> you 
traipsed your way to the front door to the bridge. And that is where we pick up. Hey, Trigger, I was Shh. thinking. What? No, I'm sorry, I was opening the door. Shh. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I cut <laughs> Why this do I need to be quiet? I don't understand these are bad. I was, is, is that not is a how one opens the doors? People. I was talking. I don't understand. That was rude. <laughs> Trigger, that was really rude. <laughs> no, Trigger, I had an idea. You have a co- personal con. We all have personal con. They all have video on them. If we attach a personal con to a stick. You don't, have, then, you don't have video on your comm. It's a communication for voice. It's like Star Trek. I am living in the year 2700. I don't have video on this thing. <laughs> what? When, when the, the camera comes out and shoots your face, like, what, what do you view it on? It, it, it is a comic. It's a hologram. A hologram of it. What is the matter? T-Mobile sucks. I need a new provider. This is we should, we should get Verizon. It covers us everywhere. Does it? <laughs> and Can we get free Disney now? Plus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always thought our, our comms had video as well. Am I mistaken? A uh, hologram. I, 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 I will give that to you, but I won't let you use it as a drone. If you want a drone, you need a mechanic with the drone. Ability. I was not suggesting it. But you drone. can't stick it out there like that, too. Just put it on a stick. <laughs> yeah, I would put it assume, around the corner. It's, you know, it would be just as good to have a mirror on a stick. Right. I would assume <laughs> drone technology is not advanced in two, three, four hundred years. No, I was, <laughs> yeah. no, I was just thinking of using it like a mirror. That's all. And then transmitting it to somebody else. Oh, you mean like what I did the first time and something att- and something attacked me? <laughs> it on yes. my hand? Yeah. Yes, precisely. Yeah. <laughs> are you opening the bridge door? I think, uh, we are uh, look, listening, and feeling. Yes. This presents an interesting question. This is the future. The door just opens when you approach it. Oh, unless it's been turned off. Oh, it's, it's a standing automatic door? But I have my detect magic thing going on. Just gonna throw that up there. Well, uh, as, as all the the weapons are drawn, I assume. Except, except for his, but the goblin goes in first. Yeah, the goblin dancing goblin on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm a goblin. I'm gonna go into the bridge. I hope there's no bad guys here waiting to attack me. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god, you could you could actually take a personal comm unit and tuck it in his pocket and then speak in yours and then the sound would come from the goblin. You could do this. We can make I a hate show it when Bob makes it rules. <laughs> that would work awesome. I mean, if I could do it on my iPhone or my phone right now. I know, right? Yeah. Just quick, do, a, do a quick call. Yeah. Yeah, so the goblin dances in ahead of everybody. What does dancing it look like? goblin on a stick. It the, looks like a dancing goblin on a stick. I meant the room, but okay. Oh, <laughs> you, 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 you only open up so far. <laughs> I better just talking about the goblin too. So, oh, oh, ah, yeah, oh, I'll just sit dear. like this for the whole night. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, this is not. Good. Have you tried the, this, Josh? It's, it might be effective. <laughs> the Akata that was waiting at the door, tramp trapes dra- just tears into the goblin on the stick, ripping it off the pole, chomping at it. And Jeff's and uh, uh I will get that one. I will shoot. Since uh, it's we should make a we should start with an initiative. Hmm? Okay. Because we are in combat. We are in combat. Of course we are. I believe hopefully mechanically we just wasted its surprise round. I will say there is no surprise round at this point. You're 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 a goblin on a fork. Stick. Got one on a stick. Oh, on a stick. Ghost okay. got a 21. Oh, and I ventured it in for you. <laughs> Ghost got a 21. Yep. yep. Uh, oh, I should probably roll initiative, huh? I, I just go, said that. I got 14. I go blue today. I gotta find this. You got a 14? Yeah. I got you. Holy you. crap. I'm done. Where were you last week? I got a, I got a 15, Josh. 21 with my plus 2. 21? Wow. From your 6 last week. I'm pulling a Joel here. Oh, man. It's just a D20 plus? Yes. Well, why am I thinking the D10? That was the last one where it was like the D10 yeah. plus. You, have, you have two D10s or three. D10s. Improved initiative. So we're back on your deck 25. Whoa. Good thing I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well get the crappy rolls out of the way now. I can't edit Mikey's, but I did. Um, really? Again? I got Ghost, Elise, and Ozzy covered. Hold on a second. <coughs> so you just got to do Trigger and. Uh, uh, trigger. trigger. <laughs> Edit. My one player so oh, can be edited and controlled by all players. <laughs> you can now, you can now do this. What'd you get, Mikey? Fifteen. Uh, unable to edit in the initiative order. Uh, maybe because I had to, I just Redo changed it a second ago. Yeah. Sorry, we'll do it next time. No worries. It's not gonna change now. 
Uh, so I got a whopping eight. Oh, I got the eight last time too. <laughs> Apparently, I rolled a two. I'm picking up exactly where I left off last time. Just could you have your hit rolls be a little less? No. Please. All right. So Ozzy, slightly uh, stunned by the go- he pulls the goblin off the stick. Sure. So you have the stick as an improvised weapon as you wish. I beat him with the stick. No, of course not. I dropped the stick <laughs> as a free action. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. I was yeah. 25, by the way. I don't think Josh updated. I got you. Uh, I, I, I get my tack lash out from my quick release thingy. Except Nala goes first. Oh, well, I my turn. <laughs> Nala. I think we're going to double shoot at the one who is distracted, standing directly in front of me, attacking the... I, will I, I want to have a weapon in my hand, so I am threatening. No, it's not. A, is it a reach weapon? How big is this stick? <laughs> it is not a reach weapon. It's not a reach weapon. It could reach all the way out there. What if he throws it like a javelin? Then it's a thrown weapon, not a reach weapon. Can we try uh, that? Okay, I'll, you know what? I'll call it. I'll say it was a ten. It's fine. It's fine. It was I'm the classic ten foot pole. You okay. you can you got to reach. You got one reach with it. Okay, so I'm threatening it, and everybody gets a plus one to shoot it. Awesome. It it, it is baited. Booyah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a <laughs> I'm gonna make a You can make a GM ruling and take that back. I'm really okay with it. It's that. archaic, so it'll probably No, I'm I'm, <clears throat> I'm gonna make a check to see if it's focused on No, it's I rolled a seventeen, so it is not it is aware of you, but you still get your plus one from him. If you use get him, which is your move action, you should get a, you can get a plus two to it. Mm. And then your double action will result in just a minus two. It's like I knew the rules. Which means you could not take a total action to shoot at it twice. Just so you Say that again? You could not take a total action to shoot. If you do get that one. This isn't a surprise round. This is just a... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A regular you get your full, your full turn. My move. Right. Which would be get him. Yeah. But you said you wanted to attack it twice. You can that's only do a that full... as a total action. Oh, okay. I'll just attack it once. I'll say shoot that one that's directly... Uh, that's attacking our goblin buddy. Our puppet? <laughs> our goblin buddy. Okay. <laughs> Like wait, whoa, whoa, no. I need a name. I need a goblin. I, I need a name for the goblin. Gilby. Gilby, Gilby the goblin on a stick. Or about if, Mr. Goblin. I thought if that it's was good, pretty well for him. If it's not good, you don't get it. He already has three. So I don't care. I thought we had a max of three. No. When was that not a thing anymore? When he decided not to. You can only carry three over. How's that? Uh, okay. Go- I would have said Gobby or Gobbly. Ah, yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think Gobby's a great name. So I'm shooting with Gobby. my pistol. I get plus one normal, plus two, plus three. Fourteen. That's with your bonus? Yes. Okay, it has a... That's EAC. EAC of twelve. Ooh. This is Robo Cosell. Whoa! That, what happened to the puppet on a stick? Three damage. Hey, Mr. Robo, can you be quiet? There are monsters trying to eat our faces. But this is so... The, the people back home need the play by play inside the space station voice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try something new to help keep myself sane. Okay. Um, first, I'm going to go to the correct Wait. layer. Why uh, would you start now? Therapy? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, actually, I'm going to actually assign each one of these guys a color so that <coughs> I can identify really... them easier. Oh, oh that means oh, there's That's one. a good idea. Yeah, there's another one over there. That we can't see. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a really good idea. What do you Wait, want there's more than one? He wants the caterpillar. Yeah, we see another one to the right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No. <laughs> I was actually going to find it's hiding. I'll reveal the bridge at this point. What, what is it, Henry? Underneath the Timmy's bed stuck beneath the well? A whole bunch of squeakers he wants. So there's, there's yellow. Oh, who took two purples? Oh, there's another one? Oh, pink. One? Pur- yellow. And an orange one? Pink, purple. There's four. And orange. There's only five of us. Or Plus the goblin. Glad? We're going to take Great. out yellow this round. Ozzy, your ghost, whoever's up next. <laughs> Ozzy had already started if you're okay with that ghost. Yeah, okay. no problem. I can, I'm going to drop the pipe as a swift action. Bang, bang, bang. I'm going to pull out my tack lash from my uh, quick thingy as a swift action. Nice. And I'm going to do... Uh, Jeff, I'll take a slice. Fight defensively attack against the one in front of me as a standard action. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. Did you, you hurt my puppy? Wow. She. No, no, your oh, cat. She. Oh. Put the claws into the nose of. Her. Well, he'll learn. Ooh. I think that'll hit. That's gonna hit. Oh, a minus two. Bam. <laughs> Bam. Where's the noise? Shh. What's the noise? Oh, she's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I put my phone away like I was you told. You know, if you're gonna provide if your own I could sound remember effects, what like... the sound of a taglash sounded like. I gotta turn the volume up. 
Perhaps. Mm. I really enjoyed this. <laughs> we still have a space Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> so I want to test one more time. Okay, so I can do Jeff, that. you did three damage, you said? Oh, that's not fun. Yes. What'd you do? Uh, I didn't do my damage yet. It's a D4. Oh, baby. Uh, attack bonuses. Where's my damage on this? A D4 plus four. Eight damage. <clears throat> and I have a plus two bonus to AC till the start of my next turn. Wow. Nice. All of my spells are so lame. That's pretty handy. All right, Ghost is up. Uh, totally worth the minus So two. the total bonuses we have now is plus one from Getem, and your coordinated attack is plus one. Am I missing any other pluses there? Until we flank it. <laughs> mm. And even then, I think you must be one of the ones flanking and be in melee and be attacking melee. I don't think I want to flank right now with four of them in there. I'm going to do a trick attack. But you actually did your trick attack? I'm gonna <laughs> Congratulations. Right he does have soft cover. Yep, because I've got somebody in front of him. And I'll have to accept that. It's like I know the words, and I almost know what they mean. i got to look up and see if your allies provide cover for enemies. You sure about that? That does in the podcast I've been listening to. Maybe can we not. only see the yellow one, or can we see okay, the other one? Okay, is the enemy CR 9 or less? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> you can see the yellow one. I have shown you the others, but you cannot attack them. Okay. Understood. You actually, you might be able to hit the pink one. Because of the angles? Yes. So I have a plus two to I hit, and then a minus two for the soft cover. My, soft cover is minus two. Correct. Right? Okay. So then that that's a wash. No full attack. Yes, trick attack. Uh, that is a 24 to hit EAC. I rolled a natural 19. He has cover for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, you can't. Jewel. Center to center. Is it center to center or corner to corner? Any, any corner to any corner. <coughs> he has cover. For, he for, has line, com- of, for line of sight. He has so you cover. Can move up one. You can move up one and, and he'll also have some, some cover, but, but you can target him. if it's corner to corner, then what if we use this corner? He, ha- he has some cover against you. If you move up one, he will have, he will have less cover from you. You still have, you still have your, your own teammate in the way. You, what do you got? 24 is a hit? Five Which fire one? damage <laughs> to the yellow Akata directly in front of Ozzy. All right. He is hurt bad. He is no longer chomping actively on the goblin. There isn't much of the goblin left. I didn't think of it. <laughs> That's it for ghost. Now we go to uh, trigger. Uh, trigger is... is trigger last. No, at least he's I'm in, in the uh, in the marching order. Trigger is in the back. Yeah, he he can move up. He's in the back. Do you think you have a check left and right? Yeah, I guess I guess I guess I'm gonna have to move up, right? Because that I would need to get into. All right. So I got movement of. Six. Nope. Yeah, this is ugly. What if they come in? You've everything wrong. <laughs> I know. We have to get to the bridge. Where are you going, Mikey? Um, can I move myself again? Or oh yeah, you should be able to. If you can't tell me, I'm gonna. So the first guy is right in front of us there, right? Yes, the yellow dot one. He's on his last legs. Okay, so I'm going to move right in front of him. Okay. And, uh... So, now, does that necessitate an opportunity attack on him? Uh, what is he doing? He, Mikey moves right in front of him. No, he's not moving, He's not leaving a threatened square. I thought entering the, the threatened square did the same thing. No, leaving it. I don't it. think so. I think okay. leaving. Unless, Mikey Unless he has to, reach. Unless okay. Adam wants to attack him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 All right. All right, we're gonna uh, we're, we're gonna, gonna shoot, shoot him. him. I'll watch the back. All right, because that's, that's if that's you shoot him in melee, Mike, you he gets an opportunity attack against you. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna stab him. That was my big giant. My big giant knife. Because they look kind of like jelly. <laughs> Which is really interesting because my knife and my laser pistol do the same damage. D4. Uh, yeah. yeah. You do get a plus two um, on top of all your other bonuses, by the way. Oh, you were just joking. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming this is a strength bonus? bonus? Yes, you get your strength you bonus yeah. to hit and for damage. Unless the, okay. the knife is a uh, archaic operative? He's not an operative. He's not an operative. operative. There's a certain type of handheld weapon that will let you use your dex instead of your uh, strength. Oh. 
Oh, I don't know because I didn't have to. It's know. a strength for now. Okay. We'll worry about it later. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah, we should find, find that one, Bob. Bob. Um, uh, 18, 18 with, with all my pluses. pluses. It's a hit. Against this KAC of 13 is a hit. Okay. What's your damage, buddy? And... Henry, stop. Three, Three plus, plus one, one is four, four. damage. Solid. And the Akata drops the remains of the goblin as it too dies. Woo. All right. Hey, good. Right. Plus one. Already? I well, saved our goblin on a sea. No, he, he's chopped. <laughs> oh. Good job, I Trigger. I saved what was left of the goblin on a stick. Don't right. get bit, Trigger. Be careful. I at least you're up. Um, so the goblin's gone, so that screwed up my plan. Um, you see that friend of yours over there? Do you want to just shoot that? Shoot the part, the pink one. Don't yeah, shoot. I'll move and shoot the pink one. All right, so you had a minus two on that roll. Because there's cover. Because there's people in the way. Yeah, your friends. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Minor details. Oh, I thought. Oh shoot! I need to get back to my job here. What? I, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm rolling. <laughs> So you're just rolling, you're just spinning something in your hand. I rolled the one. Uh, that's the wrong die. That is the wrong die. <laughs> that couldn't be any more wronger. Yeah, <laughs> is that a word? It is now. <laughs> hey, I rolled an 18. That's hey. a lot better. Okay. You, 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 you should be works. minus one because of what you rolled. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to matter. 18 <laughs> minus the d4 roll. Now I have to roll the d4. Now I have to roll the d4. Yeah. Hey. Oh, four. Oh, that's better. That's really good. Which one? Which color? Pink. Uh, pink one. Pink, okay. Thank you. And the brain, 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 brain. brain. All right, the Akatas go. This one, to to, this one advances on Mikey here. Oh boy. Thank goodness I'm not up there. Brace yourself, Mikey. <laughs> this is going to be ugly. They have a move yeah. of... Where's the move? Come on, read the sheet, Josh. How's your fortitude? 40. Wow. How, how intelligent are they? Because like, if, if any of them come up to here on me... When they leave this square, which I threaten with my tack lash, I will get to attack them. Just so you know. I moved. All right. Well, I'm going to opportunity attack on that guy. That is fine. Not I'm so just, smart, then. I'm going to use a standard opportunity hey, attack instead stop. of trying to stop him there. Do not roll that die. Let me hear some... Oh. <laughs> That's true. I gotta make. I gotta. I gotta. The roll's gotta it be... Should be a, it should be an automatic minus two. So. <laughs> Opportunity attack. Nice. Ooh, that ain't gonna do it. I hit the eraser. You could roll again. Yeah, it doesn't work. That. Yeah. A plus four. Twelve. That's how it works when I play. Twelve versus card game. versus I don't know. Uh, KAC, I guess. KAC twelve is a miss. Damn it. He's Are you a... sure it's not EAC? Because I think twelve will hit EAC. Yeah, I don't think that attack lash is energy. Uh, and get him <clears> does not apply to this guy. <throat> only to the one target, right? Oh, plus one. Dead. Thirteen. No, no, but I think. Get oh, that's right. Get him was on the expired one. Right. The dead one, you mean? Yes. Double check us. Make sure. Well, yeah, the one. Uh, the We're just digging for a plus one here. <laughs> do we know if a plus one would actually do it? I don't. Well, I don't know. What I, was your I plus think one? he said case. <laughs> All right. So, so anything I threaten, but only two ranged attacks doesn't apply to me. So the orange and purple clearly flank trigger. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the pink one gets no. no bonus. Okay, so the pink one will attack first. Really? And as I as I raise my attack lash, I yell, "Thank goodness!" Fall back, little one. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> where is the it's coordinated shot? Void bite. He chops at uh, trigger. And where is his attack? Really? I did all that for nothing. Uh, plus eight. So it is a twenty-four, Mikey. Uh, uh, no, that misses. misses. I don't believe you for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I rolled your favorite that number. That gives me lots of room to spare. I rolled your favorite number. Oh, oops. One. Plus two, that's a three damage, plus a void bite. Um, oh boy. You really want to. Now my partner is pregnant. Oh. You really want to avoid those. <laughs> oh, well done. Well Thank done. you. We're all there. <laughs> all right, so Mikey is, inf Seriously. is infected with the microscopic larval. We will save for this after the fact. The what now? Oh. The, the micro. Nobody's been bit by one of these yet. I well, thought Ozzy I think... was bit by one of these. Ozzy was. Yeah, because you saved. You yeah, saved. I was say, Every saved single time him. he saved. So. Um, so wait, Josh, Josh so, so, so three, three points, points of damage plus, plus this bite thing? Plus the infection, yes. 
Plus, okay. plus you're, 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 you're pregnant with this larva. Oh, oh that's, that's exciting. exciting. <laughs> Who is the lucky parent? The flanking one rolled higher to hit. I rolled another one, so that's another three damage. And the third one, 7, 15, 17 versus your Holy. KAC. Uh, pretty sure bite is kinetic. Yeah. yeah. 17 versus KAC, Mikey? Um, yes. yes. That also hits. I even changed dice and I still rolled a freaking one. <laughs> I rolled three ones for damage in a row. So you've taken nine damage. That's six times six times six? 36. So nine, nine total? total? Nine damage total. Does that exhaust your stamina points? 216. Huh? 36. No. Does that use up all your stamina points? No, so, so, I, so, so it, it takes, takes my six temp hit points. They're, they're gone 16. for this, this encounter. Um, and that leaves me measure. with um, five stamina, stamina points left. Oh, How many stamina points did you have? No, he has temp hit points because he's a mechanic. Oh, he has ah. those temporary points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That oh, is so I might not have to do... So, so I, have, um, I have six temporary hit points. I have... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, eight stamina points and eight and eight regular hit points. Okay. On top of that, so now I have five stamina points. All right. Uh, one other question, Mike. I hate to ask, but is your baseline eight stamina and eight hit points? Because I think when you hit level two, those are it is. To go up. Those are supposed to go up. Yeah, mine went up. I think we talked about this last oh. session. Yes, we did, and that's his own fault. <laughs> it is his own fault. Yes, it, it is. is. Check your check your class because I think you get like another yep. uh, or something like that. Yep. yep. While, while while you guys, you guys go, I'll go check that. All right, Nala, you're up. Before you attack, I just want to say one thing. I looked up coordinated shot. Uh, it says when I'm threatening a foe with a melee weapon and an ally that has line of sight to that foe without me granting that foe cover. So that's not going to work right now. Uh, <laughs> well, no, I mean. No, Nala doesn't. It's not. Neither of those guys have cover are getting cover from me from Nala. Oh, you're right. That's true. And I could. They probably are getting it. cover from you from me. Or, Orange, I think, is fair game for almost all of us. So or, Orange, Orange has cover, but not cover from Ozzy. Not provided yeah. by Ozzy, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So I was going to give Mikey an inspiring boost, but it doesn't sound like he needs it yet. How many stamina <coughs> are you down? He said he was only down three, and he still has five. Okay. But that's before. Yes. So no, any leveling up yeah. that he possibly could have done. How many times in a combat can you boost on the same person? Once. Is it once a day or is it once like... in a counter? Oh, and then a ten minute rest and then you yeah. can do it again. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So all right, so I'm just gonna say <laughs> the head's heading now. <laughs> let's get that uh, that purple nurple. <laughs> <laughs> Orange, so that Ozzy is not providing cover. I don't think I can't see the Ozzy's not providing cover except for you, Bob. I'm, I'm going by the, okay. the doors that I were there. Providing cover for Jules. The doors cover. were blocking, possibly. Oh, Maybe. I think I would see yeah. that one there and okay. give that one a. Uh, the other one in the front right in front let's of get top. that one. Let's this get him. Me. Yeah. And now, if I shoot at that one, he can take an opportunity attack at me. Are you standing? Ne oh, you are. The purple next. can take an opportunity attack. Can orange too? Yep, yep. Then I will. Guarded step. Orange can't because that door is halfway the door, through the door, there. The door opens both sides. Yeah, it's it's, it's a ten foot wide door. It opens the whole the whole bit the whole width. So What's if it? I just do a uh, knife attack, I'll be fine. Correct. Or, or you can attack. do a guarded step back and shoot around Ozzy. You could step back diagonally to in front of Ghost. I could I could do that. I think I'm just I'm gonna stay there and do a uh, knife attack. Yeah. Show him who's boss. Did you want to try calling Liz? See if she stayed up or no. Ten. Ten. The which one are you going for? Purple. The too too much jostling between all all the four people there. You 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 miss your attack. I swing with a swing and a miss. Small survival knife. <laughs> you did your plus one. I also have a survival knife. You roll a six. It's tough to uh, tough to hit. So yeah. all right, ghost is up. Uh, ghost is going to glance down both hallways and behind them, just to make sure there's nothing creeping up on the group. You better give me a perception check for that. I can do that. Perception check roll is a twenty. You don't see anything. Don't see anything on a twenty. Okay, natural oh. fourteen. Uh, all right, then uh, he'll do a trick attack. 
Uh, is a trick attack a full action? It is a. F oh yeah, I can't do trick attack anymore. That's fine. I'll do a regular. Yeah, attack. I mean theoretically, the, the perception check would be a full uh, would be a uh, your your main action, but I'm fine with you just calling it your move if you want to shoot. No, oh, okay. Then I'll I'll just shoot them. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, if I go orange, I get a plus two. If I go purple, there's or orange has cover. He's solid cover against you. But purple is going to be <clears throat> soft cover from Ozzy. That's soft it. cover from plus Ozzy. One. And I get a plus one from uh, Nala. But then orange, I get a plus one from Ooh, Ozzy. Sure, sure, sure. So sure. who's got the damage right now? Um, purple. No, <clears throat> pink. Sure, sure. Pink's got. Oh, pink's got <laughs> Oh, good grief. We are splitting them up, huh? Look at pink. Jules. Uh, and I, I, I at least he shot it far away. Before they moved. Yeah. And I guess I'll, I'll target pink is, as well. It's going to be minus two cover, I think. Correct. All right. Four. Full attack, no. Trick attack, no. I remember you. <laughs> uh, I rolled a 16, but minus two for the cover. 14 against the hit. AC for four points of fire damage. That's ghost. Oh, he uh, he shakes that off. The fire doesn't appear to hurt him. Because he's made of water. Really, really. It's called resistance five. Resistance fire five. Oh, wow! What does it look like? Just it, 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 the, the fire hits him and it just it's, it's like envelops him and just goes right around. Doesn't even hurt him at all. Wow. Uh, does, the, does it just like disappear after? Or? It dissipates after. Seeing that. Uh, I've got a swift action left over. He spits. <laughs> he does. He shakes his head and he spits out a tactical pistol into his other hand. Well, we'll see how you do next time. <laughs> that is his turn. Nice. Go with Ozzy. Uh, I suppose I should just whack the guy in front of me, huh? <clears throat> yeah, because he hasn't been hurt yet. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I. If, if you I go attack anywhere the else, pink one, if you go anywhere else, you get an opportunity attack against you, right? No, why would I? I'm attacking melee. Okay, sorry. Oh, now if I attack pink, does he have cover from the purple guy? I would say he's got short. Soft what color. if you go here and now you have flanking against purple? Yeah, we're not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> we're not supposed to be metagaming. Get your finger out of the way. <laughs> I also don't think I can get through there. Uh, if I don't know. How, I don't know if that will attack me. That's not attacking, that's moving. I'm going to attack yeah, pink. I like the idea. With a defensive attack. A defensive attack? I forget what the hell it's called because I'm not on that page right now. <laughs> you want me to look up the name? I'll look up the name. I like to need to know so I can know. Uh, I will fight defensively. Okay. So it's a minus two and against pink. Does that is that a minus four then? Yes. Sure. Negative. Negative. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Do I have to hit for that to count? <laughs> for the to don't know. Trigger. Starting at the beginning of the action. Okay, so I have a... Uh, plus two bonus days. Trigger. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You're up, bud. <clears throat> okay. Do you know how many uh, real stamina points you have now? Did you, uh, were you able to figure that part out? Well, I, I'm, I'm on the description for mechanic, but it says your your stamina points are listed in the class description, but I don't I don't see it in the class description. It says I start with six plus. So for stamina points, I start with six plus con modifier. All right, my Adam, Adam's looking it up. Get your get your action in. Okay. So thank you. Um, hold on, I gotta I gotta pull the, the screen back up. I was. Okay. okay. Um, oh, oh shit. shit. I'm, I'm surrounded. surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> do your come and get them. <laughs> I'm going to do my I'm gonna struggle. I'm going to duck, duck and run between his legs. <laughs> Not you probably, probably have to duck. duck but... uh, which, which one has the most damage? damage? Can I tell? Pinky. Pinky. It's the only one that's been hit so far. So, so purple, purple and orange are not even touched. touched. Correct. And we've noticed that they seem to be resistant to fire. The first five points may not do much to them. In general. Okay. Um, so just, to, I mean, you know, Jeff, Jeff had a point in front of but you could certainly step forward onto the, the spot where the dead one is to open up more activity for people to get in, like Ozzy. 
Okay. So, so I'm gonna. The one with the well, red X is dead. But Josh, if I, if I move up, do I get two opportunity attacks for that? Not if you stay with a melee attack. Okay. Right. For right. Right. Yeah. If he moves right. one forward, he's not leaving the area of any of them, so right. he can move forward one. Yeah. Right. Okay. So just if I, if I move myself, oh, you moved him out of the way. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, there. Happy now. All right. So I realize that I am woefully underprepared for melee combat, and uh, I will use my giant survival knife again. Pointy end. I need, I need like a sound of like oh, dagger no. entry. <laughs> yeah. 14. 14 is a hit. Good job, Trigger. Okay. Against Pinky. I like the so Trigger, he, he, he stabs his knife into, into the creature. The creature. It, it gets, gets all gooey. He gets, gets really cranky, cranky from it. <laughs> and he does five points of damage. Yes. Max damage for that. Woo, thrill. That's what happens when you piss off a little rat. <laughs> I think my max damage with a survival knife is too. Ozzy. Oh my gosh. My I is uh, it's 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 four plus one. one. Mine's negative one. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That was trigger. You're right. It's Eileen's turn. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to use my magic missile. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You, you want me to use the few I have on recording? No, I'll only do mine. Or are you moving or are you going to do three? I'm going to do, do three. Character. Total action. Got it. I want to know what a, like a I'm six. Sure. I want to know what a six level spell is going to sound like. <laughs> These are still one d fours, right? <laughs> yeah. I feel like they should be one d sixes now. Right? I know, right? You took the one d four. Did you take the special ability where you can't roll the one damage on these? I no. didn't know that was a thing. Okay. I thought it was more like a. All right, the three d fours. Quick. Yeah. It's okay. Though. Feed her the money. Uh, three. Three. Two. You get a plus one to all of them? I thought it was just a plus one to one of them. Nope. Each. So what's your damage? Three, three, two. HP by the class. Fours. Sorry. Six, seven, eight. Thank you. What? Add it up. Uh, <laughs> three, three, two. Six, seven, eight. I thought it was... Three, six, eight. A D4 to each person. Yeah, it's one to each. Oh, you... you it's one D4 plus one to each person. So you oh. can't focus it? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can. Who do you want to focus it on? All of them. <coughs> you can have... <laughs> you can do one shot to each one. You can do three shots to one of them. You can do no, you, it says targets up to three creatures. Up, up to. Two. Up to. You choose. Hmm? Choose, but choose yeah, I wisely. I choose three. Okay. Is, you fight <coughs> three this? Oh. Spread the wealth. Focus sure. and do Maybe one. Maybe kill one. This is your first day? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, one on Pinky. And Traditionally, it's a better strategy to focus fire and take them out one at a time than spread the damage around. And then all three on Pinky. That's a lot. Yes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Pinky takes three, three, chest, three, three rounds to the chest. It is... Staggering, but not down. Whoa! You think you think if you get if you if, if, if you if you spit on it, it would fall over. All right. Can do I have time to spit on? No, you're too far away. <laughs> All right. What if I spit into my hand and then use my cytokinetic hand to like drift Pinky it over moves, there? Pinky moves. Pinky moves to the right one, so he gets flanking, and then he and Orange will both attack. Um, <coughs> trigger. This is not good. Nine plus. Eight is seventeen plus two more is nineteen. I'm assuming that's a hit. Yes. Eight damage. I rolled a six that time. The second one is higher. I rolled another one. That is now four out of five ones. 
That's three correct. out of four. I don't um, see a problem. So it was it was eleven damage total, Mikey. Like he's not playing okay. anymore. He's and the um, one that is directly in front of Ozzy, well, Bard's teeth. Come and get it. Ooh, and roll a twenty-four. Ooh, that's hit. a miss. If I had, so I have no stamina points and five hit points remaining. All right. If I had four more AC, that would be a miss. All right. You also have seven damage now. Seven damage. All right, back to the top of the order with Nada. All right, I'm going to use my inspiring boost to give uh, Trigger a chance at living through the next round. <laughs> Does that invoke an opportunity attack by Purple? Know. What is it? What kind of attack is it? He's not attacking. He's using a, he's using a power. It's not a spell? Correct. It's, it's not a, a range attack. Correct. No opportunity attack that I know of. Okay. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, then I'll give you the number of seven points. Up, uh, equal to twice your envoy level. That's four. Plus my charisma modifier. Minus that's four. So you get eight uh, stamina points back, Trigger. How many? many? Eight. But only the stamina. It does not affect your hit points if those have gone down. Or your temporary. They have gone down. So, okay, okay, so, so my, my stamina, stamina points, points are, are back, back to full. full. Correct, but your hit points are not no, are not increased not, and your temp hit points are not restored. Right. right, I can, I can spend, spend a resolve, resolve point, point for, for my ten hit points, but it's not till after combat. I, I still have to. I, 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 was saying, I still have to rest, rest ten minutes. minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So I've got eight stamina, five hit points, and I still can't find anywhere in here where it tells me how many hit points. It's supposed to be. I, I, I put it, Mike. I put it in the in the chat in Discord. Oh, that's, oh, that's what you gain every level. Yep, yeah. that's what you gain every level. What did you gain? Six plus, six HP and six plus con bonus stamina. If you ask what your con bonus is, Mikey, I'm gonna hit you. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. They've gone Nala. That was just my standard action, my move action. I'm going to tell them to focus on. Pinky's gonna be gone in one hit. Purple. What are you? What spell are you using? Get him! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work. Get him in there somewhere every time. I need that. All right, ghost. Uh, another check. Uh, no, a trick attack on Pinky. You can see if we can get rid of him. All right. Uh, it's gonna say Azmuth. Uh oh. I don't think the trick attack work. Is this CR zero or less? No. Nope. Trick attack did not work. <laughs> CR is one. <laughs> Oh. Zero or less. <laughs> That's pretty harsh. Trick attack, not a trick attack. Don't look at the damage because it's going to be the, t the pistol instead. So. Did you hit? 22? Yeah. EAC, I think. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't matter. You hit. Okay. You hit the, the. Pink one's dead? He'd be dead. So Mikey no longer flanking? Yes. It's the gun. It's the gun now. Yeah, that was the laser gun. Trigger laser gun. No, no. This is the tactical pistol. Oh, shoot. That's a bang. That's the. Yeah. Yeah, there we're going. For two and points. We're all like, ow! <laughs> What'd you do that for? It's two My ears. Something's exploding behind What? <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Ghost went. Uh, are you doing anything else, Ghost? Uh, I am going to stay where I am. All right, Ozzy. Ah, well, that screwed me up. <laughs> Sorry. Way to go, chilling that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm protecting Trigger. Trigger Maybe needs next it. time you go kill anyone, let <laughs> that big boy take care of him. Get him is on purple, by the way, so you got a plus one on purple. All right, I'm going to move oh, good, from I here and then here. You're going to move there? Yep. Does that invoke an opportunity attack from purple? Yes, it does. Okay. Really? Yep. These things have like a crazy two hit. It has a hit. Well, it doesn't matter when Josh rolls a 16 and my armor class is a 19. Yeah. I still rolled a 1 again for damage. So that's another, what, 7? 3. Uh, 3. So that is literally 4 out of my past 5d6 rolls to get a 1. Wow. You are lucky. You are lucky. <laughs> uh, does he have to make a fortitude save? Or we'll make those at the end. Oh, okay. But he's pregnant right now with the little Marvel baby. Oh, too. So, is, so Ozzy is as well? Yes. I missed that. They've okay. both been hit. So. Oh, my gosh. And I'm going to... Fight defensively, and I'm going to attack purple. From far away? Okay. I have a range of two. Yep. I have a reach attack. 
and I'm now out of line of sight for everybody else. And it missed terribly. Natural right. one. Natural one. Uh, he gets orange, tangled up orange. in his own whip. Who's <laughs> next to you is out of his sight? Oh. Is it what? Or I'm no longer providing cover to any of those guys. Right. He's not in our way. But I can threaten all of them, so now everybody gets the plus one. Yeah. He takes out the whip, he whips it, and he splits his own lip. Uh, another one damage, huh? <laughs> courtesy, courtesy of Indiana Jones. And the yes! <laughs> uh, Ozzy is gone. Trigger is up. But I plus two to my AC. But they're not going to hit me. Uh-huh. They're, they're going to attack me, but not. Trigger. It's only going to roll. Fuck. I've lost the yes. more. You're up. His video's been gone a while, but... Yeah, that's okay. what he's that good at that. Um, okay, so he's dead. I have uh, two guys that are... Unarmed. Uh, Ozzy's up there with me, right? Yep. Yes. But we're not flanking anything. Okay, okay so... And we're still... So, technically, technically I'm still in melee, right? right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Which means my plus one does not apply to you. Okay. okay. Trigger, you could take um, a, I just want to let you know, you could take a guarded step closer to the edge of the spaceship. Then then you can use a ranged weapon. Yeah. Like a five-foot step. Like, like that way? Exactly. exactly. Now you could use a ranged weapon if you wanted. Okay. okay. That's, that's what, what I, that's I, that's where I was trying, trying to get, get to. to. Okay. okay. And now my plus one will apply on purple, but not on orange. And you get another plus okay, then I'll, from Nala, so it's plus two to hit purple right now. Okay, okay so, so I'll, I'll attack, attack purple, purple. Um, with, with my, my so poorly. This one's out of place. With, with my, my auto, auto target, target watch rifle. rifle. It's a rifle. Auto target. Right? Yeah, we got we got, got that, that last time. time. What does auto target do? I can't remember. Uh, I have fancy. to look, look it back. back. I think oh, it just sorry. sounds fancy. Go ahead. Sorry, roll your damage. I don't it, just, really it, does, it just really does more damage. That's, that's, that's kind of the key to it. Nice. Doesn't Mikey also have something that gives him a plus one? To... Yeah, I'll deal with that later. You want to bed, Red? Sorry. I have to try one of these apples. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. Pack one up for all of us to share. There's like six in there, so everybody should be able to have one. Yeah, plus one bonus to ranged attack. Yes, I have a plus one to ranged Catch. So what was the special treat of these apples, Bob? <laughs> They're GMOs. Uh, the Cosmic Crisp has been in development and was invented in 1997 by the University of Seattle. Uh, Jeffrey Turner. It combines the Enterprise There's apple and the uh, sure, one here, Jeff. and the Honey Crisp. Enterprise, not Empire? Nope, the okay. Enterprise. Uh, I think that's why they called it Cosmic Crisp, because the Enterprise. Oh. Uh, it is tastier than a, a, Golden can, delicious? Than a crisp. The Golden Delicious, you know how you eat that, it's mushy and disgusting. This and is everything like, but delicious. This is what they, yeah, this is uh, what they wanted the Golden Delicious to be like. <laughs> and the shelf life on it is three months before they even start to look mealy. And uh, they're delicious. And they're juicy, and I think you're going to like them. There you go. Oh, thank you. Wow. Yeah. That's three months before you can... Yeah, you can, uh, well, you can find them in take it back. definitely Whole Foods and maybe other grocery stores. They're just, they were just released in December of uh, 19, of uh, 19, and they're really, really good, I think. Okay, now, are you a fan of the Macallan? Oh, these are good. Which one is Macallan? They're the mm. fall apples that are very sweet. They almost Macoon look or like, Macallan? It's, well, it's written Macoon. It's pronounced Macallan. It's, yeah. I don't know if I am familiar. They oh, are amazing really apples. Okay. I'm curious. That is my favorite, favorite Adam. Adam. Okay, Macallan's triggers up. Bomb. Uh, Eric Swanson taught me about Macallans. Yeah, yeah, those, those are, are those are my, my favorite. favorite. Yeah. If, if I, I ever, ever made you guys an apple pie, pie at some point, point or, or apple, apple crisp as one of the desserts, desserts it, would it would have been made, made with those apples. apples. Mikey, I'm home all day, so you can come whenever you want. Start baking. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't get Macau ones now. They're seasonal. My apologies to anybody yeah. who's listening right now who has misonia, the genetic condition where you hear people eating and it drives rage. Oh. Uh, because you're going to hear all of us chewing. But congratulations today. to the ASMR community. <laughs> <laughs> get really close to the mic. All right, Mikey, what damage are you going to do here? Let's see what you got. All right, so we're going to, uh, we're going to shoot purple guy. Yes, I made the noise already. Because I have uh, plus three now to hit him. Nice. Oh, he tries so, so, he provides his own. 18. Is it hit? Really, you left that one little bit. 
So you're target tracking him, Mikey? Is that why you're able to get another plus one? Yes. yes. I put, I put target lock on him. Nice. And that is not fire. That is penetrating. Seven, Seven points, points of damage. damage. Wow. Nice one. All right. Mikey, you're not playing with a chew toy right now, I assume. No, yeah, that is the dog. dog. <laughs> of course it is, though. At least you're... Of course it is, yep. Yeah. I am definitely not, not playing with the chew toy. toy. <laughs> Uh, can I shoot purple, or is Ozzy in the way? You can shoot purple. Um, yeah, I'm nowhere near. Being the question is, is Nala providing color Nala for that? Yeah, you could yeah. step to the right one, and then you just then you'll have an unobstructed attack. Then he can unobstructedly attack me. <laughs> no, no, he's no. still one away. That's true. Okay, I'm gonna step out. Down there. Yeah. And you get a plus one from me and a plus one from Nala. And I'm gonna shoot him with my azimuth laser pistol. Pew, 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 pew. Well, I rolled a nat too, so I don't think we get a pew pew pew. Oh, you pew pew pewed all oh, over. Oh yeah, that was pew. Not pewed. <laughs> Do you have any other ranged weapon? Only because I think the laser pistol does fire damage. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, crit. Oh, we have a crit. It still does the 1d4 no matter what. It's the it's, it's the bonus on a crit is, is fire damage. Did you tell me wrong when you used yours the other day before? Oh, yeah. All, the the Azimuth laser, laser pistol is 1d4 force, not fire. fire. The F is for force, not fire. I think it's fire. Laser is super hot light. I think it's fire damage on a laser. No, because a crit is burn 1d4. Mm. Adam's looking. I think these laser pistols are useless against these things. <laughs> then we've been playing it wrong since. <laughs> if, if indeed. Henry, you're helping your dear? Uh-huh. <laughs> Did he have apples? Jack gave it to him first, so I figured Jack gave it to him. Which would be good. So, what do you guys think of the Cosmic <laughs> Crisp now that you've had them? Well, really good. good. Really good, right? Yeah. I have to agree. Did it, so, not the locally, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I, Josh, does it, so just so you know, the, that, that auto-target auto rifle, rifle is also projectile, not like laser or plasma or anything like okay, that. Okay, you're fine. Okay, I just yeah, want to make sure. Yeah, laser, azimuth laser pistol is listed as laser, not flame. 1d4 yeah. F, burn 1d4. It's a whole science into itself. So is it 1d4 like, F mean what? fire? Crosses that we can no, well, it might it be, because the flame guns, the flame guns are all F as well. It's, it's only, only on a crit, crit does it do burn, burn damage, damage though. So I don't. So I, don't I, I, I think Bobby right too, but we've already been playing. And well, you know what? We really want to kill these things eventually. So I really thought it was regular damage and only on the. Yes. F, is that F fire or force? That's the discussion we're having. Why would a laser pistol shoot force though? Cause like you get hit, you're like oh. Yowzer. <laughs> Uh, we can check the core. And, and uh, the criticals burn damage, not fire damage. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, don't let it be the core, that's all. Here, that... No, that's what we've been having the entire all right. discussion about. It's for, for the rest of this encounter, it'll work. If we run into any more, we'll address it now. Let's okay. just get through this. Sure. Um, these are special weekend the kata. It hits you with all those photons? It's going to have no... Well, okay. <laughs> all we'll right. Divided the um, I see you shot. You rolled your two. Yep. They have to go. The um, orange one will attack um, Ozzy. Don't roll, freaking. Natural 20. Bite more, my god. Ow. Why? Heal me. <laughs> That's 2d6. Heal me. Plus 4. If Ozzy says heal me, does he get like extra points? Oh, a 6 and a 1. Oh, boy. That's 11. Uh, purple will attack Nala. Plus 1. 15 versus this. Okay. Eight damage, and you're impregnated as well. She's dead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole container of pencils there. I think that one Adam brings with yes, us. Yes, because I know this one works. <laughs> that is a good one. That's because he brought it with him. <laughs> I go over three, usually. No, you're up. Inspire yourself? Uh, <laughs> nope, I am going to uh, give an inspiring word to Ozzy. Nice. 
And Gross, can I be the only one that's not pregnant? Eight, uh, so what, what, what do you say? What do you say? I say, Ozzy, take care of these monsters. I'm sorry. I just lost my friendship. Yeah, what? I say, oh, Ozzy, take care of these monsters. <laughs> Are you asking a question? Or? I'm waiting for you to do it wrong in French. <laughs> uh, Wait, did he just say LLZ? You can take care of these monsters? <laughs> Are you talking to everybody or just me? <laughs> and I will. Purple is damaged, orange is not. And I'll say, everybody, focus your fire on the purple one. Get them. You can totally see uh, the, the monsters in different colors. They all Get have different them. Views. Get some. <laughs> all right, go stroke. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna try a trick attack with the uh, tactical pistol against the purple. Uh, their CR negative is not two. negative two or less, so the trick attack did not work. Uh, so now we'll just go to the regular attack. And whoa, whoa, whoa! Plus one. Thank you. Minus two. So I'll be net <laughs> minus one from me as well. So it's net zero. Net nothing. Hold on a second. Because Ilyse is closer to him, does that have something to do with it? That was a different game. Nope, different game. Okay. Space <laughs> love cover for my Ilyse. Wow, that was the Wee. Ranger uh, Mark and Quarry <laughs> from 4E. Yeah. I interrupt that. How's Mr. <laughs> Roboto doing? Mr. Roboto is <laughs> loving the cover. Would it be so hard to put a laser on that thing? So <laughs> the, uh, it's not interesting. Attack is then. a 15 against kinetic AC. Okay, and there's minus two for. I at least see, and would you have an equivalent plus two? Mm-hmm. So, so it's a wash. It's a wash. And the KAC is 13, so it's a hit. Yeah. And then the uh, damage on a tactical auto pistol is 1d6 penetrating. And I roll five damage piercing. against, or piercing. <laughs> I enjoy either one of those. <laughs> Inappropriate on both of them. <laughs> Inappropriate at every level. Wasn't listening. <laughs> no, I, wasn't. I guess he's still alive. He's still alive. He's hurt pretty badly now. It, it moves on to... Wait, uh, it looks around the corner because he hasn't... Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Ozzy. Ozzy's going to uh, do Which another big setting fight defensively. With this tack flash. <laughs> Against purple. Uh, so he's a minus two, but a plus one, so an overall minus one. Still and you're fired. <laughs> Um, Are you moving or anything else? 12, 11. That's close. Yeah, but I'm off by two. Yes. Awesome, right? Does right. your um, mercenary theme give you any bonuses you to hit or anything like that? Nope. Reroll attacks or something? I, I have one of these to reroll attacks. Uh, <laughs> triggers up. And... Trigger is going to. If I didn't do the fight defensively, I would have hit it. <clears throat> Shoot the purple one, one again. Hmm. <coughs> purple guy. Uh, 13. 13. Plus one. Plus two? 14. 14. Yeah. 15. Plus two. 15. Those are hits. Oh, okay. okay. Wait. Oh, oh Jesus. Two, two points of damage. damage. That is not enough to kill him. Uh, <sighs> all right. Sorry, um, I at least see Finish this thing off. Will you know, I'm just going to shoot it again. I'm going to try to shoot it again. Do I have another magic measle? Save those. <laughs> no, I'm saving those. Pew, 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 pew. Um, nat 12. That is going to be a hit with any bonus. Okay. She gets at least a plus two. Yeah. yeah. I rolled a three for damage. Okay. Is that two seconds? That's not enough. Mike. I thought you said that if I spit on yeah. this thing. We know how much you really that. like that, that huge That was the purple one. I mean, that was pink. We understand that. What's that? I know, I know. Hang on a second. No, no, it's okay. It's adorable. It's cute. <laughs> He's like, loves that thing. Baby. You're stepping on a baby over there. He's going to be so jealous when he sees you with Henry next week. Um, the uh, Ayalisi rips a hole through it with, it with her laser. It's staggered, but it is still not down. What if I just run through it? Like, what if I just run at it? Oh, pull a Haldo maneuver? I don't know what that means. What? Orange what? will attack Ozzy again. I am asking a legitimate question. No, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> other than get hurt. Um, against Ozzy, a 20? Miss. Swear to God. 
What's it against your for a My fight? KAC is 19, plus two for the fight defensively. There. And it finally paid off. It finally paid wow. off. Wow. I missed thing. because of that, and I'm getting this. 20, I would have been hit twice on that. <laughs> <laughs> I also spent so a lot of money like on new armor. Purple attacks uh, Nala for 12. Uh-oh. 13. 13. 13. 8 plus 5 is 13. Oh, my gosh. Energy or kinetic? Uh, this is a bite, so it is kinetic. That's 14. Weird. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. So she's not double pregnant. That was big. No. <laughs> that was big right All right, now. Nala, you, you get to return the favor. Uh, Kill the purple one. I will... Get five foot step backwards, and then you can shoot. That gives them my move, actually, that I don't get to get them. I'm going to say, SZ1, focus on the purple one. And I will take out my knife, and I'll say, get him! <laughs> I'm going to go after that one. Is your strength you like a minus two? One? <laughs> <coughs> Wait, is your strength an eight? Yeah. He's got no. A, it's a six. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> but get him until the, you and your allies get a plus one. So I rolled an 11. It says, total attack bonus over here, plus three for my survival knife. Oh. Wow. So it's 14, 15. Hey. Does it hit? Just barely. And I get to do 1d4 minus 2 damage. That's okay because you can't do less than 1. Proficiency? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah. Correct. I can't do less than 1. <laughs> <laughs> it has one hit point left. <laughs> Is it dead? Yeah. Purple drops to the ground. Cooked. Wonderful. This is great. <laughs> I as well take care of that one. All that remains. Purple. I mean, orange is left. No orange. Ghost. Ghost is going to do a trick attack. Ghost can't see it. Uh, it's, he's, it's, it's got he's, heavy cover. I know. Trick attack allows you to move uh, okay. at any point during during or after the attack as well. All right. See. It is a full uh, attack. Uh, so he well, is, does that mean, uh, is, is that part of trick attack? Is that uh, you can't help? How many yeah. has you So he's going to move right where the dead purple one is. Yep. I think that's a no. spot. Oh, okay. And then from there, he's going to execute the attack. I killed all of them. And so, so you actually killed him? Failed on the trick attack once again. How many you killed? Excuse me. I took all your damage. How many have you killed? Yeah, no. His, uh, how many tactical you pistol. You? Uh, it is a nine. How many times I that is a miss. Hmm. How many times have we'll you gotten pregnant? That's, that's it for ghost. <laughs> Ozzy, you're up. Okay, Ozzy's going to move. I'm not if, pregnant. If I didn't have so, that big thing in the way. It's going to move here for flanking. Where to, sir? Up one. Towards Joshi. Oh, right there. Yep. Now, should I do... One attack or two attacks? Oh, good to go That's for like it. It's fresh. He's not hurt. I have I've, I've, I have questions how that corner works because it provides solid cover against Nala, but I don't know if it impacts flanking because I'm going to give you flanking anyway. What if he Adam, just moves? It's, now, you know what? He's in line of sight. Adam, yeah, now that I'm you just had it. your die set, I think you got to go for everything because they're, they're lined up. They're ready to go. Double do, it do up. The, yeah, go for the double. Okay. Oh, I thought the double was a full action. You moved. You're right. So I'm just going to do a standard fight defensively. That's true. And the plus two and minus two wash out. So uh, 13 plus 6 is 19. That is a hit. About friggin' time. You're higher. I got the sound effect for there. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, wait. Reroll. Make sure it's the sound effect. (laughs) (laughs) That's a five. Cinco Stinko. (laughs) <laughs> Trigger. I did more on this than you could possibly do with your laser dance. <laughs> Trigger, you're up. You know what? Nala and I okay. have strengths in um, other areas. So back to the orange guy. I would hope so. He's the only one still Good. alive. Like talking to Mr. Roboto. <laughs> Staring at my skin. Uh, natural 20. Is yeah. it hit? Yeah. Excellent. So clearly we're going to say that the burn has no effect. Sure. Well, because he has, he has resistance fire five. You take no fire. Sure. So, but I will take the. I will give you the max. Don't you get two D? You get two D four, Mikey. No, no, no. This, this is the rifle. Oh, okay. So I, I'm actually looking up. I, I didn't write down what the uh, projectile here. Auto target rifle. Um. There is no crit. That just means you do normal double damage. Oh, I shouldn't wait too many. So just normal double damage? Okay, so 2d6. There you go. 11. Nice one. Hurting him bad. 
I didn't see anything. I'm not sure. <laughs> I could have done it. He is hurt bad, but he is not down. <clears throat> it comes to ILEC. Why? Put it down. Did you mark that one? Is your not quarry? I forget if you. No, he did no, not he, get it. Okay, so it's just a plus one. ILEC, you were the last. For, it, was la it was your turn before he goes um, again. Okay, I'm just going to keep shooting. Are you going to move so you, can, you, you can't see him? He has cover there. If you move here, he does not cover. But he has less cover if you move there. He, he has, has no, no cover, cover if you move there. there. Oh, okay, then I move there. Right. And then I shoot him with my pistol. He did. What? Nat yeah. 20. Are you, you serious? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's away. Plus one from my. No, sorry. <laughs> you get that picture for Liz? Yeah, 2d4. Oh, you have a d4. What? You double. You... Why do I double? Because you you're crit. A 20. a 20 is special. Oh. You double damage. We'll yeah, see if we Five. Five. Your, your blast rips its head off. Oh. It has a head? Ending the combat. This was the most exciting and intense combat we have had yet aboard the Acreon. I did that. I did that. Ghost races over to Trigger. Trigger, Trigger, are you okay? You got some fight marks there, man. <laughs> you should see what she has. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't think this is a good bite mark. I don't I th I think are I th good bite marks. Are there there any? are good bite marks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why do you all have to go to that dirty place? Because Jules went there. <laughs> oh, God, Jules went there. That's why well, I was Jules, assuming asked, the conversation was going. <laughs> Jules, you ask the question, you get the answer. I bit my tongue. I want it known. I finally bit my tongue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I, I check. Uh, I roll a life science check to check his wounds to see what I can tell about the nature of the bite marks. I may or may not be crying. Is it, if he's got an infection, what can I, I, I do? Not be crying. It's, not, it's he's infected with larval young of the. Um, Akara. I rolled a 24. That's that's all I have to give you. Do, are there, like, what happens when it... Is there anything it? that Does we can do to, like, okay, stop so, it? Okay, so, 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 when, oh. when, when, when bitten by an Akara, and infected with a void said, bite, I'm uh, I'm just, just reliving the moment. Akata, <laughs> Akata's reproduced by implanting their parasitic larval offspring in humanoid hosts. This infection they cause, known as void death, functions as a disease and death. transforms its victims into undead void zombies. What? Is there a time frame? Is it just you immediately, you go to sleep and well, you wake so up? How much of this no. do we know? He made a 24 life sciences check. Sorry, I didn't realize that's what you're rolling for. I'm sorry. So, that's okay. Um, I'm too busy laughing at you. <laughs> so everybody who has... Uh, all right, so the effect... No latent carrier state. An infected creature that dies rises as a void zombie 2d4 hours later. Now, I actually looked up disease last session, but I don't remember what it said. So give me. I brought those over there for you. Thank Reasonable you. amount. Thank you for not making it a full class again, Jeff. <laughs> uh... Ow, ow, ow. Jay, when they do that? Sometimes. So I'm not sure if disease is on this one. Sometimes the claws just get caught. Yeah, no, she needs her nails cut. And she could cut it on the necklace, too. So then... All right, so here's how it works. They have to make two consecutive saves to um, be cured. You make one save every 24 hours. Okay, so if you're lucky, it's going to take two days to heal. Correct. If you roll two in a row. Correct. <laughs> but I can force a save using some medical equipment to try to get a save beyond just the normal rest. I don't know if I would trust you to do any medical procedures on me. <laughs> well, not you. Only for three years. Oh, How could you... Get... What, what allows you to force that? The spray... Either the med kit or the spray flesh gives you an extra chance <coughs> at a save. Okay, so... So, right... Uh, right now, I need a DC 10 fortitude check from everybody who is bitten. So that would be Trigger, Nala, and Ozzy. Fortitude. Yes. Fortitude safe. Oh, boy. Uh, yep, yeah, I made it. Good job. This made is your it. last 16. chance. I don't think Ozzy made it. Nope. Are you going to use a Benny or not? Ozzy chooses to use a Benny. I thought that was his last chance. It's a good thing I have a minus two for it. Oh, no, he's getting a last chance right now. I'm saying this is the last chance. You have one more. Okay. Where were 
real last time. 20. All right. Does that mean I double save and I'm no, no. longer... In- <laughs> so in, after our next rest, you guys will have to save again. For the record, um, right now you are latent. If you fail, you become weakened, which is sickened and fatigued card. Oh. If you fail that, you become impaired, which is exhausted. Then you go to debilitated, bedridden, comatose, and dead. <coughs> So yeah, it's not that. It kills you? Wait, is this 4E? Or is this AD&D, rather? Oh, no, that <laughs> just found one roll. Wait a minute, that is, like... You failed your roll. Oh, you're dead. Yeah. You, that's, you're you're well, represented what, by what, one, just, two, three... No, six failed saves in a row. This is a... Like, we're second-level players. That is... It's a here, DC 10 save. Here's three extra D6. It's harsh, though. <laughs> yes. Wow. All right, so you, you've taken the bridge. You're out of combat. Um, can we put one of these things on a stick? Can, can we no. bring sensors up? See if there's any more on board. You should talk to the mechanic. I know the best mechanic in all of the packed worlds. It is Trigger. I feel like right. there may be some bias. I'm assuming I'm you guys... Already, uh, I'm, already moving, I'm already moving towards the console. All right, I assume you guys are on the bridge and have closed the door behind you. Uh, we, and we, Ozzy is guarding yeah. the door. We look for the... So, you're not standing there so it automatically opens, like at the grocery see- store. <laughs> yeah. No, I wait for the, I step forward and then I close. I step back forward, step right. forward. We look for a way we to close the door. Disable the bridge. I disable the bridge door so that it won't open. Nice. Well, you could just make a, a DC 10 computer check to gain basic system access and stuff. I will do that. Okay, then I'll just do. Oh, yeah, let's do a computer I check. That. I will aid. Like 14. Interface. What's a computer? I got 14. <laughs> I don't think you 24 on my computer check. I got a 27. Okay, you Are all you fight over who gets, to, who gets to lock the door. Congratulations, you've locked the door behind yourselves. As you're fighting to figure out who locks the door, it opens up with a... <laughs> At the same time... With a dancing at, goblin on the other side. Uh-huh. Looking up, bringing up sensors. Was the goblin bitten? Hmm. All right, so bad bite. You, ha- you have access to the entire ship. Um, I believe you repressurized it last time, so you're you're good to go for double life. pressurized now. It's life support systems are all active. You can open and close, lock any door. Um, there is a a that it was basic access, Mikey. If you want to dig deeper, um, it is a DC twenty one computer check. Okay, hang on, I'll I'll roll that to dig deeper. Okay. Deep deep. How, how, how about this? Deeper. Uh, twenty eight. All right. Jesus. Not. Uh, you were able to breach the, the security of the system. You have you have full access to the um, the ship's computer, including logs. Wow, your computer okay. is like a blast from the past. Let's. Uh, can I download the logs to my memory bank? You can do that, or you can just play them for everybody. At least the most recent okay, ones. But- Oh, that's true. We're just sitting there. So, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll start playing the memory. Are you guys taking 10 while this happens? On screen. Yes. yes. So I guess that means I'm not guarding the door for 10 minutes. I can guard the door while you're resting. I, I took no damage. That gives us back stamina? If you yes. spend a resolve point. You spend a resolve point, you get your full stamina back. But keep in mind, your stamina does come in useful if you're about to die. Because you have to spend... Your resolve points. Yeah, you use a resolve point for that. But you, you only can use the resolve point if you still have a quarter left. So if I'd use... prefer to not die in the first place. All right. All right, tell me that when I'm down the one resolve point. Okay. All right, so... Oh, I'm sorry. Are we rounding up or down? <laughs> are you guys going to play... Are you playing the logs, Mikey? Yes. Yes. All right, so the... Uh, what you assume is the captain comes on a little holographic display. You don't have this in an audio file? I didn't have time to look. I was a little busy today. Oh, are you working or something? I am the... I, am I, the, I did a big part of your job today. I am the on-call guy. So, uh, the uh, captain comes on. Captain's log. (laughs) (laughs) What an unbelievable discovery. A rock in the drift. This is such a rarity. This could be our ticket. This could really help take us and the Hard Scrabble Collective to the next level. Can't wait to get the crew. Can't wait to get over there and see what's on there. Next log comes up. Hmm. We Does land... he look any different? He's, he's, he's somewhat elated. What's the word? Um, we... Captain's garb. That's a good question. Captain's uniform. Captain's garb. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, looks, he looks excited. He's got one of those geodes in his hands. The ones that got his hash from. Um, wow, this is great. We, we, we've, our first team to the... To the we christened at the Drift Rock. Um, landed. They found these... these, these um, 
These geodes, we think they're made out of no. We're pretty sure they're made out of no coal. They should be worth a fortune. This place looks littered with them. Mm. We, we could. We've already paid for our trip ten times over. Oh. And with their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, the, are you okay? You don't sound right. The next... What? What is the problem? I was adding, <laughs> I was adding some drama. It was boring. I just wanted to add something. To it. That's Mr. Roboto's job. Mr. Roboto is zoomed in. And he's and it's taking in it and the, the, everything. And it's like, what did they find over there? This could be the missing answer to what everybody in the in, in, in Absalon Station is dying to know. Excuse me. We would know if you would shut your trap so we could listen <laughs> to the logs. Shh. I think Mike says that to us like... At least ten times a night. Mm-hmm. I have a bag full of sheep for you. <laughs> the next it's in a sheep pouch. The next the next log comes up, <laughs> and the the captain the captain looks a bit haggard. Um, those geos were were a blessing and a curse. They're worth value, but they hatch and these horrible things come out. They've already killed uh, Smith and Jones. I don't know what else to do. I'm sorry. This is the most alive? basic name. Hey, he came what up about with a bottle. Mr. Green. <laughs> He didn't flinch, okay? He came up with them on the fly. Right. Do better. That was good. That was good. <laughs> the uh, next entry comes up. Mr. Ribsy. And you, you can hear laser blasts and, 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 and um, concussive force in the background. And oh, I know. He's, 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 he, you, you can see he's, he's a wreck. Yeah. He, he, he's Stand panicked. Up. There's something else. There's something that came from the rock. It's got Johnson and Green, too. We don't know, what, we don't know how to stop it. Nothing we do hurts it. And then the, the last entry... This one takes place in engineering. The background changes. We're getting overwhelmed. We're going to change the ship to vacuum, and hopefully that'll slow them down. We're going to head to the drift rock to hide, try to hide out there. Hopefully, by purging the air, we'll be safe. Well, obviously, I don't know. Well, vacuum so did not help be... because these creatures were in vacuum before we put the air back on. There was another creature attacking them. Oh. It wasn't just these things. You are right. It sounds like nothing uh, hurts them. There were six on the ship, and we know there were four that were dead. John Smith, Johnson, Green. The captain, and there are only one more. Those numbers may not add up 100% correct. Why am I not surprised? (laughs) It sounds as though we need to mount a rescue mission to the Drift Rock. Uh, where there may be more of these things. Wait, wait, wait. We were not paid to rescue. We were paid to investigate the ship and to go home. And the rock. Yeah, we have to investigate the rock. Go the, the, to the, the, rock. The, 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 the camera's coming down and zooming in on everybody's faces, yeah. getting the, the details of your reactions to all this. Uh, let us, uh, we need to secure uh, this ship fully first. Yes, I agree with I agree with the captain. You secure the ship, we take the loot, and then we leave. Let's look at the uh, scanners and see if they pick up the bodies of these. Uh, what were they called? Akata. 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 Do right. they pick up those? Their somebody has to make a computer check. Science and engineering. Trigger is the best engineer in the fleet. I got 16 computers. I highly doubt that's going to be what Trigger was. But... Uh, 26. 26. <laughs> <laughs> um, neither of you are able to detect any more Akatas, although you do detect two life forms that come up as uh, live goblins. What? But of course. Trigger, I think... I think that the computer is malfunctioning there. Do you see that? I do. I do. Oh, uh, where? Are where there is nice the, goblins? There's, there's two more. There, there's two more goblins on this ship. Where are the goblins? Hold on a second. I have to. They're see. on this ship. I gotta put my paper. My papers <laughs> right back. Wait, they, do you mean they're standing on the outside of the ship? They're on the ship. They're, they're just on the ship. Uh, they are okay. located in the in the crew quarters. Does anyone speak Goblin? Uh, Only Hobgoblin. I, does I, does I, I might. anyone well, else speak Goblin? <laughs> All right, there you go. I was told we had universal translators for this campaign. Does, does Nala truly speak Yeah, Goblin? she speaks Goblin. That is amazing. That's awesome. I have four slots I could fill stuff out. What do we know about Space Goblins? Is this a culture check thing? Like, they're, they're the gully dwarves of the universe. Are they evil or are they mischievous? mischievous? Do they, are they just? Or are they just trying to survive, man? Yeah, they're they're kind of tinkerers. 
they they don't really they they they, they go everywhere they can. They're they're kind uh, of riff raff rabble. So they're, 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 yeah, they're, 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 they don't always they're they're they're, 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 they don't always mean. They are very similar to Yasaki. Okay. I believe in height. What the hell are you talking about, man? There is no difference. <laughs> oh, rats, yeah. Oh, same. <laughs> Goblin, Yusagi, same? No, they are not the same. We are oh. creatures of culture. We are representations of millions of years of evolution. I'm pretty sure the goblins would say the same thing. No, they wouldn't. They would just try to eat you. No, oh, they're... Let's go, let's I'm go pretty sure it. you're the one that's been trying to kill us all. Uh, well, let's go. So. I'll go uh, first. Maybe you I had your stick? You, you would be dead. <laughs> 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 the, the stick that is slick with goblins' blood. Uh, hide your stick <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Nala, if you want to go there. Hey. What will the crew do? I'm going to go get something. They have found the secret of the Drift Rock. Well, they found the secret of what happened. Will they venture to the Drift Rock? Will they find anything else aboard the Akrian? Will they investigate the life science of the goblins? Can't. Tune uh, in yes. right now. <laughs> I think we will find the goblins. Wait, wait. There are, we should use the... We have the powerful sensors of an interstellar mining ship. We should use it for more. Are there life signs on the drift rock that we can detect? Can we call in using the communication? We should be able just to hey, call in to guys, where the goblins are. Who said are. a good idea? Yes. Until Inter- we've right secure, the since then we have secured the uh, ship you and are, to come out. You are uh, good, Captain, yes. All right, I, I do that. I uh, call into the uh, uh, barracks, is that what you said? Or uh, living chambers? Living quarters. Yeah. Quarters. Uh, quarters. quarters. See, quarters. We have picked up. The two uh, goblin life signs uh, come out. We are in the bridge. We have secured the uh, the ship. Are you speaking in goblin? In goblin. Uh, that's a good point. Why should we go out to them? All right, give me a diplomacy check. Is it diplomacy or what? <laughs> ten. Really? Only ten? Yep. You rolled a nat. Uh, I'm gonna eat. I mean, <laughs> Can I, if I give you a plus two, will that make a difference? Probably not. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give a plus two for using goblin as his language and not just saying it in. Um, yes. Uh, and what? I, DC ten, you get a plus two for me as well. Oh, why didn't I roll fifteen? That would have been. Yeah, would have, <laughs> would have, uh, <laughs> That's twelve then. Tells him that we are uh, I'm fourteen. We. Uh, I'm trying to do the, uh, the, the ghost oh, accent. I got nothing. Oh, we. <laughs> Kill them, we will not kill them. Tell them we will not kill them. That's what I was But saying. I really want to kill them. <laughs> Come out if you Tell want to Tell them we will not kill them. That's how And then we it. will. <laughs> and then we will. And then as soon as you're done. And, and then we will kill is them. He, is he trigger? Trigger, can you also scan for more of the cocoon? The stuff that will make us rich? And can you scan for life forms in the drift rock with your super powerful computer? Never mind. Uh, I can try. Go ahead. Anybody can try. Um, so you want a computer's check, I assume? <laughs> sure. I can't try. Uh, I'm trained. Right. What's, a, what's a computer? <coughs> I wasn't kidding. Uh, 19. Also, I mean, what's culture? What's plus culture? 11. What's science? What's medicine? <laughs> Do you know what a computer is? 20, 20, 21, Josh. You try every trick in the book that you know, and you're, the sensors do not penetrate the drift rock. And, okay. you, and you Very do not detect any other arcata signs, but you think, based on the fact that they're aberrations, they may not show up on the sensors. Mm. Uh, so does that mean they wouldn't right. show up on the sensors on the ship either? The cocoon Correct. stuff, though. Let's let's open the up the doors, stuff? by the way. To the is that not showing up on the No, no, not to the green uh, cocoon stuff. No, it doesn't does does have that uh, final level of detail. It doesn't. Why? All right. No. Okay. Because the goblins must be coming to us. Life bridge. signs, yes. Oh. Inanimate objects, not so much. It's a scanner, though. I mean, it's using spectrometry in your... Yeah, ship. but not at a distance. If you had it in front of you, it would be different. Josh, we open these doors up, and we're there with... Wait, Captain, there are cameras in the ship. Let's just look at the cameras, and we can look in the rooms, no? Can we okay. send Mr. Roboto to go look? Mr. Roboto will not follow your orders. There are, It is a mining vessel. It is not a... There aren't, there aren't really... There's camera. Maybe there's a camera in engineering, but there wouldn't be a camera in crew quarters. There might be a camera in each of the cargo bays. Hallways? There's just the one hallway, really. <laughs> I feel like in the so future, they really didn't think this one stuff camera through, right? No, it's, it's, it's trivial. Let's look at the one. It's, 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 it doesn't matter. You know, it's, 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 the ship isn't any bigger than my house. 
<laughs> and how many times have you wanted a camera down to the other end of the hall in your house, in the crew quarters? Exactly. <laughs> he, well, he did. He had the monitor for many years. That's true. Right? Yep. But that was audio only. It wasn't visual. And she was a baby. Yeah. So, um, wow. all right. So you... No, just... You have the, the door open. You're waiting to see. Yes. We are... If anybody comes out. Yep. Ready to attack if a aberration comes, but not if a goblin comes around. I'm sure during those 10 minutes, you also reloaded all your weapons. Your I fired people. zero, so I'm good to go. Yeah, we need to get back on that. I wanted, I still want to do that. We haven't done that. We also it's, need it's to not a game during combat. Someone's got to just print out that leg. Like, uh, yeah, somebody I, can print that out. Two, two goblins come from the north side of, the, of that up here, the northern side. Come on, come on, come in. They are differently colored. They come in. They're they're all they're extremely paranoid. They're not coming down the hall. Who 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 is speaking goblin for us? I I speak goblin back That's to them. Voice. What? How? Oh well, I learned goblin. And then and Mr. Roboto comes in. It's taking everything in. Come on, come come in the the bridge. We can secure the bridge. What do they look like? Goblins. <laughs> <laughs> Just look over at his face. I actually have one. I have one on the screen here. Oh, just a second. Oh, actually, I did. I did show it to you once before. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. That's right. <coughs> uh, bottom left. Oh yes, they look familiar. It looks like Yoda, but like evil. Now, I just want to make sure. The go- course of the d- corpse of the the goblin that we put on the goblin on a stick, <laughs> is too mutilated to mutilate it until it was ever on a stick, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know about the stick part, but it's pretty mutilated from bite marks that unless, you know. And there's a dead one of these on top of it. So yes. It's really tough to, <laughs> oh, and also they're goblins. What do they give a shit? <laughs> <laughs> so you bring them on that. You bring, you bring them into the, into the bridge? Shit, sorry. Give a poop. You, you bring <laughs> them on the bridge? Ghost give a, yeah. draws his Crap, weapon crap and trains it on the ground. Oh, you have to shoot us. Come on, come on, come on. Look, look, okay. Oh, Salzburg! Oh, I knew you died. I'm so bad. That's what we named him. We put him on the... Never mind. (laughs) Zazbiorak. Oh, my friend. How could you have done this to us? How could you leave us here stranded? How how did you uh, get on the ship? For goblins, we go wherever we want. Did you come on the ship uh, here in the void? No. So, there was a, um, a transport... And they had some stuff, and we hitched a ride, and kind of came to space. <clears throat> uh, two. Trigger, no more than two. Trigger, E, Captain. Eh. Trigger, E, Captain. You know what I'm getting at. I don't. Uh, <laughs> he gestures to you to come closer. Would you like me to kill them? Oh, my God. <clears throat> one, of the, one of them goes over to one of the consoles and starts clicking away on it. <laughs> I am telepathically <laughs> at, yelling you... at Ghost the entire time, <laughs> do not kill them. <laughs> Ghost draws his weapon on the one that's that's ticking. Do not touch any fire. Wow, I didn't do anything. That's right, you. Did. I can make that work better. No, you can't. Yeah, I could. I can. Are I they can. having a conversation? Can they have a conversation? Keen. Keen. Yeah, you got to easy. Make that work better. What can, what can you do to these? I can make it shoot. No, no. How much XP you do you can think they're worth? Dead? Shoot more. Yeah, look at how good mine is. It is like like duct tape and bailing wire and band aids. Bailing wire. C and C batteries in there. I'm look at do, that! I'm gonna do an engineering check as I look at that uh, their weapon twenty nine. <laughs> it's like a phaser set an overload, just waiting to go off. <laughs> <laughs> Russian roulette, <laughs> every shot. Only fired once. You are not good. touching my weapon. You get but, away from but me. This, this, do you want to see? No, no, I do not. Put the I weapon think that you should put that away. Um, <laughs> puts it away. Uh... Did you see any um, evidence of these things in the crew quarters? Did you go to crew quarters because it was safe? That, that, that's where we got trapped. And, and Zasmiark went out to try to get his help. Yeah, he didn't make it. But we are here now. Our <laughs> heroes! And one of them, they each wrap around one of your legs. My friends did that to me earlier. Trigger, Trigger, I think I need a shower. I said I had to pee so much. This is disgusting. Uh, were, the, were the crew on the ship when you came, or were they already gone? There's nobody here when we got here. Just the blue guys. Just the blue. Did yes. you see anything other than the blue guys? No. You. You and you and you and you. I wonder you. if they blew it out of the goddamn airlock. Stuff from Alien? Aliens. Yeah. Aliens. Good. 
I blew it out of the goddamn airlock. <laughs> Said they don't found no evidence of the alien on the ship. We could be so lucky. I do not think we are so lucky. What? 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 What, what are you guys doing? Oh, we listened to the uh, so captain's rope. So where are you guys rope? from? <laughs> and they said there was <clears throat> something that absorbed any damage, but is no longer here. So they they go over and they start talking to Eilisi since she seems interested in what they have to say. <laughs> and since she's and 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 Mr. Roboto is right there, just filming everything, kind of picking up what you guys are doing, talking about in the background. But you know, they're like, ah, you're so pretty. Oh, thank you. How'd you get your antennas to stay up so straight? Oh, oh, it's some really good She's shampoo. Like, <laughs> what? Nothing. I can't. <laughs> I think we have to secure the ship first. Don't worry about it. I agree. He didn't hear me anyway. It's common mm-hmm. procedure. It was a good bite. Secure your location, mm-hmm. then scout no, from the back to Yes. <laughs> this is what is done. By the way, Mr. Roboto, I should like to take this opportunity to tell all of your viewers about the amazing merchandise that you can purchase at Diamond Defense in Surplus on aisle level 82. Let me tell you the... <laughs> 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 the <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> All go there. You will not regret what you buy. Shh, I'm trying to talk to the goblins. <laughs> Should we take this opportunity to investigate the holding the... Uh... Cargo bag? I am the taking this ship. opportunity to invest in my future. I am going to get residuals oh, right. now. Yeah. All right. All the advertising. Options. I say we uh, we secure the yeah. ship. We yes. go room to room. Come here, yes. uh, And We Henry. say we split party into seven different groups. Henry. Yes, of course. This is tactically Or we say together. Mm, we take the goblins. They go one side, we go the other side. Oh no, we're staying you, with you now. You're just cool. You're just look at all with the goblins. Look at all the dead guys. I want to go with the goblins. We're gonna stay here with you. We're gonna help. We look, want... look, watch how good we are on computers. And he goes over, starts hammering away. You stop that, or <laughs> oh, I blow your head off. <laughs> watch. Three, and the door opens and closes. Two, See, I did that. One. You know what I will do? Good job. Get away. Uh, we want to secure the ship. We want to go through room by room. All right, and uh, see if we find anything. All righty. So, the goblins hearing your plan. Uh, what, 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 we can take you where we were. That's safe. Hi, were you waiting for me? That's safe. Let's we start let's there. Go there. Let us start there. Yeah, let's start there. All right. Uh, we're, I want to look for a way to lock down every door. And only so that we have control of it. Just so we can't get double backed on. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? No. Like, can we lock every door from the bridge? If some, if someone were in the freeze. Yeah, somebody would have to stay behind to control the doors. Goblins. They could close behind. Well, I don't trust I don't the think goblins. we should leave them alone. I will stay with them. Yeah, you're pretty useless in combat anyway. Uh, goblins could be useful useful in combat. I was talking about... Did you uh, not see Lisa. their gun? <laughs> yes, they can blow up and then, What's wrong and Destroy an entire. Let me show you how good it is. No, I guess they and he points it at the the, the the clear should aluminum window. That should be <laughs> no! a bridge. Transparent no, aluminum. Yeah. Lead the expedition. <laughs> <laughs> Jules, are you going to bed soon? Then we'll leave you on the bridge. If not, <laughs> yeah. maybe we'll all go together. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I can stay on the bridge. It's no problem. I'll because you still have contact with us. It's not like we're... Correct. We still have our cons. There's no need to stand break box. Okay. Drink, uh... Hey, Mikey? Yeah? Make me a computer check. And an engineering check. Uh, me engineering? Check. Now I could stand the bridge because then she can sell over the intercom. Kill the one on the left. 24. <laughs> You're able to, um... Wire, um... Program the door controls to operate on everybody's wrist communication devices. Hmm. There, problem solved. That's nice. <laughs> I'll regret that decision next time you guys abuse it. Ghost does this, and the lights get dim, and then he does this again, and then the lights get bright. Can I sit down, buddy? Last time you you let us. Uh... I know. <laughs> That's because this is a crappy old ship. Okay. <laughs> Let us lock down all the doors, and then we proceed. So we leave the bridge, lock the doors behind us, and then we head north. The first one. We are going 
We're going to the right. Every time you ask us, we're going to the right. That's good. That's smart. All right. No pun intended. I will show you the ship a little bit more. Um, this area up here is the galley. Hmm. Oh, cool. If anybody wants to make a remembrance check, I can help you with something. Well, no such thing. What's a remembrance I would like <laughs> we don't have to see if there are seasonings and I remember salt rolling a tray. Hey, so he remembers. <coughs> uh, yes, you do find salt. Am and am water. Water. Plenty of water? Yes. Uh, the Akatas are... are um, salt. Yeah, got it. I think it would be wise for us to make some salt water to have <clears throat> with us. Are there, uh, like, gloves, latex... Prophylactics. The reason I ask is you can put water in gloves and then no make water. salt water balloons, mm -hmm. anything like that. You find uh, three glass jars that will that will suffice as a salt water cocktail. Okay. Molotov, Molotov, Molotov salt water cocktail. We'll salt, make a three. Cocktail? Who's, who's good at throwing? Dexterity checks. I assume. All you guys who shoot. My dex is fourteen. Uh, is it throwing a dex based? It is indeed. Well, then I'm pretty good. I got a 17 dex. So. I can only throw it about seven feet. <laughs> my strength is a seven. But, uh, I think then. No. Nala trigger in ghost. We should have these waters. And you have the holy water from before, too, before we went to the embassy of the dead guy. So you have. I can put salt in there as well. And we have salty holy water. Whoa. If you put the salt in the water, does it. Diminish the holiness of it? No. In the pirate god's world, salt is good better with rum, but we do salt, it is fine. So we add salt into the holy water as well. Wow, it's salty holy water. Mm -hmm. uh, That's what we put in there. Thank goodness <laughs> that it was, it was the holy water of the god of salt. Um, what, what are you doing? What? Wait, what are you making? We are making, making a weapon. Does that water? These. Taste the ugh, the yucky one. No, the Akata do not like it. They would be. I don't like it either. Mm. By the way, what's your name? My name is. Please don't kill me. Go hey. ahead, try it. Hey, please don't kill me. No. <laughs> That's my name too. <laughs> to what's your name? My name is Nala. Nala. Wait, which which room were you guys in? My name is Belraz. Fascinating. Hi. Which room were you I in? Thought, and oh. this is Plarnock. I'm Lisi. Hi, Lisi. Give us the names one more time so I can write them down. Falraz, F-A-L-R-O-Z, mm -hmm. and Plarnock, P-L-A-R-N-O-C-K. Got it. Okay, are they, none of them are named Fork. No. <laughs> They're not intended for long-term purposes. They're actually part of the adventure. Okay. <laughs> Portal cover for about to come. They could you be long term. You know, if we keep them alive. You know what show we go to? We carry our stuff. Do you want the one them alive? Right. I always like mind attacks. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have drones. We That's really want the we wanted the wind of you. So they went into they take you into this one here at the top. We're going to the right. Was there like enough food in the galley to support us for many, many days if we needed to? Like if we were stuck on the ship or if we need to take it somewhere. There's not a lot of food stores in the galley. They're probably in the cargo bay. And was there a drift drive on the ship as well, I assume? Because mm -hmm. they found it in the drift? Yep. Drift drive is operational? Is the ship operational? Did we technically salvage the ship? It's, <laughs> ours. it's in quarantine. It was oh. That's the battle between astral extractions and... Hard we could just take it. Hard scrabble, scrabble collective. collective. What if we just cut the drift rock and go? <laughs> we'll have the armada after us. Yes. <laughs> Fine. I like the way you think, but... <laughs> These are the, the most disgusting waters I've ever seen. Hey! To Mr. Roboto. This bed is not made. It's like goblins were living here. They were. Be nice. So what does it look like? Just a are messy you gonna, room? Uh, oh, it's just a, a disastrously messy room. You know, to, to start off, it's, it's, it was two miners. Society for the protection Which isn't clean to begin welfare. with. <laughs> okay. And then goblins have been there for who knows how long. <laughs> so... Did you barricade yourselves in this room and then uh, to wait until these things were dead? Is that what happened to you? We're in here. How long were you in this room? I don't know. Did you watch where? No, did you watch where? No. Hmm. And the ship time was no good. Because yeah. the ship didn't work. 
Did you sneak out into the galley to get food and back, or...? No, we ate, we ate some of the rags. We didn't eat anything. You can see, like, the the... The, the mattress is partially chewed through. <laughs> it, it, it's like, it's like, you know, rats. <laughs> He's silky. Yeah, got it. Well, Going to search the room uh, 17, perception, see if there's anything uh, either that tells us about the crew member that lived there or anything useful. Uh, it clearly was a minor. This is probably the first officer's girl because it has a window. First <clears throat> officer and second mate or whatever. Um, it was a... Uh, two men. One was Johnson. Okay. One was Jones. All right. So which confusing. one has the other one's feet in his face while he's trying to sleep? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Probably the first uh, officer very, very does few, not have feet in his Very face. few personal effects. <clears throat> he's got the window bed. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's uh, true. Uh, forgive me if I'm forgetting, but did we try <clears throat> to send communications to the Drift Rock to see if anybody would respond and let us know if they were alive? No, we did not. That's another smart idea from the dumb guy, and I am feeling really inadequate. Should we also send communications back to the station to let them know what is happening? And I think they already think know. They, they're, they're watching. But we can get information from them, because this thing does not talk back. <laughs> well, it that talks. is right. I have exceptional manners. I don't talk back. <laughs> <laughs> Nor does he ever show. Nor does he ever shut up. Trigger, may I kill you? You know now. what? Sometimes you don't shut up either. <laughs> let us, let us, when we go back to the bridge, let us try to communicate with the Drift Rock. I think that would be wise. All right. <clears throat> Are you going to the quarters next to it or back to the bridge then? Quarters next. I just want to say, yeah. so when this ship came back through the drift, there was no communication. Everybody was dead. Or presumed dead. There was no response, correct. Amazing that the miners named the Drift Rock the same thing that everybody on Absalom Station named it. Well, no, they, they communicated they found it. Oh, okay, I didn't know and that. They were bringing oh, it yeah. in. Okay, otherwise that would have been... That amazing. would have been an amazing coincidence. <laughs> it's also just a very general name, though. Like, it's a rock It came from the Drift... Let's call it the Drift Rock. Yeah. Trigger, how are you feeling with that bite? It does not look good. <coughs> Excuse me. It's it's not good, but I feel okay so far. Is it itchy? Uh, is there yeah. chafing? <laughs> are you how are you on health? Do you need um do you need healing from a doctor? Uh, I I need to get this alien creature out of me. We go to the right. If you if you properly rest by tomorrow, you may be able to cure yourself of this, and I can help you with that. But for now, you just need to wait and have your system fight it. All right, so you guys are going to the next door down. There's yes. cold party pizza over there. Oh, okay. is there a, a med bay on the ship? If there is, you haven't found it yet. Did the bridge show us? You didn't the tell me. You, <coughs> you didn't look for a schematic. I thought we looked to, we scanned the whole ship. You scanned the ship, but you didn't do life signs. All right, I'm going back to the bridge. I need to find a med bay right Wait, now. Wait, let, let's finish up here, in this hallway, and then we'll go. Okay. You open the other crew quarters. There's a, uh, a crude trap that was set off. It looked like somebody tried to trap the room so that anybody coming in would get hurt. Maybe it was set by the crew against the Akatas or what. Mm. It had already been triggered. Tell uh, me it's just salt water. No, it was some sort of. Uh, was it? Fire? It was a jury rigged laser blast trap. Was Whoa. it set by a goblin? No, so but it if might you have look... actually hurt us. Is so, there a battery on that thing? So if you give me a search of the room, we can do that. Oh, hold on a second. I'm looking at the wrong one. Perception. Perception. I rolled a natural one. Got a seven. Twelve. Seventeen. Nice roll. Fifteen. Good roll. Fifteen. Nineteen. Ooh. Okay, so. This is actually where the goblins were really hiding. They were actually going back and forth between rooms, and you find their stash. Mm. Um, start typing. Okay. One incendi- incendiary grenade, <laughs> level one. Two shot grenades, level one. I'm good with grenades, by the way. A sticky bomb grenade. I don't have any grenades. Level one. <laughs> Two detonators. Am I going too fast, Bob? No, you're fine. Anything else? Yeah, uh, hold on a second. Two detonators. A tool, an engineering toolkit. A fire extinguisher. 
happened when we're traveling with Ghost, I feel like a fire extinguisher is a good thing to have. 500 UPBs? Ooh. Yoink. You guys know what a UPB is now, right? Universal Palmer bit piece. Those are good. A key, a computer key card. That could come in handy. Mm. Yeah, it would, it, it would have reduced the DC on the, on the bridge by like 10. And a cred stick with 500 credits. Ooh. Got it. Well, now that uh, Trigger That's my grenade! No, that's my grenade! They, they start fighting over the sticky grenade. I'll hold the grenade for safekeeping. Bang, it goes off. The two of them are just covered in sticky goo. It just splatters on Ozzy a little bit. <laughs> I wet myself off on the goblins. Help us! Help us, please! We'll be, stay here. We'll lock the door. We'll be right back. There's a grenade above, right? Sticky grenade. <laughs> How long do you stay stuck? They're, 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 because of their nature, they're, they're, they're getting out of it quicker than you guys would. <laughs> uh, whoever can use grenades, pick them up now before the goblins do. I do not I like goblins them. with grenades. I'm, I'm good with grenades, actually. Hey, the, 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 uh, I have a fire extinguisher. Does anybody else have a fire extinguisher? I do not. Did you guys buy any during our shopping? I make fire. I don't put out fire. But you... Uh, the lizard man. You do. If you are in no gravity, you need propulsion, and the jetpack is too expensive, so you go and you steal a fire extinguisher from the kitchen. This is Couldn't what you do. Couldn't we just poke holes totally in the fingers, fingers of our suits? <laughs> I, first heard about that. And I have <laughs> a uh, uh, Z keyboard cleaner. Right here, I just use this. That's, that is good. That is good. We can it's go slow. back to the bridge, and we can clean the keyboard in the bridge. That is useless. <laughs> it is useless. <laughs> You should have the extinguisher. I feel like it would be far too bulky. What? I feel like what you happened? are bulky. You have no muscles? No, he's not bulky, Botakamos. How much bulk is a fire extinguisher? I think I bought one. So they I would assume it's one bulk. Yeah, I think it's one bulk. I don't think it's that much. Is it one bulk or is it L? Because one bulk is 10 pounds. Yeah, one bulk is a Oh, it's a freaking fire extinguisher. Last year. Uh, seven pounds. <clears throat> That's seven tenths of a bulk. Yeah, it's seven L's. Why is Dan working at nine fifteen? I was still patching up. But I think right, so we have one, so you can get out in front. Sure. There, uh, there, there, there is no um, med bay on the ship. Uh, uh, go host. Which way do you want to go? You say you want to go back to. I would like to go to the Z right coming out of here. The bridge to communicate to send a signal to the drift rock and then we can continue. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Do we all really need to go for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're back and now. Do your thing. We we <laughs> we come back. And we try to talk to the drift rock if anybody's there. All right, let's send the communication out. How long do you want to wait for a response? Two minutes. And then I, I, I patch a Adam, uh, two minutes. A, <laughs> a forward to my comm link for the uh, Hey. Okay. Yeah, there was there's no response from the drift rock. I will, let's should we go to Z left now? I, can we talk to uh, no, the zip. big boss bugman and ask him for his thoughts on these creatures? Before we move away. What? Right. So we try to uh, get him up on the... Uh, Chis kicks. Chis kicks. Chis kicks. Chis kicks. Chis kicks. Chis kicks. At least get the first couple letters right. I got the cadence right. <laughs> the holographic display for comes up. Of them comes up. How are you doing, my friend? I can't. I, I had her voice last time. I don't have it now. <clears throat> then their voice. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> you are looking well, my friends. Oh, are, are you really? Our... Really, I'm looking well. <laughs> <laughs> for what for what I have seen transpire, you are looking remarkably well. The uh, Akata, Akara, vicious beast. Ah, we. Oui. Um. Some suggestions on them. Ah, is there any suggestions? On... Have you seen anything that we missed? Other creatures. Other creatures. They said there might be a another creature who does not get hurt by regular uh, fire. Cle clearly, it sounds as if there is 
more to explore on the drift rock. It is not just a solitary asteroid. I saw those ears perk. As we had initially expected it to be. The, the captain's log said they were retreating there. Perhaps they had found shelter. I sense there is a lot more here than was then, expected. Do you believe there is more that meets the eye? Do you believe there may be how? robots in disguise? Mm. Wait, how does it meet your eye? Captain, we have people who are sick, Look, infected exactly. with their larva. We need really? medical assistance. Have them send someone. Is there, uh, like, can you send a, a uh, medical ship? ship? I, I have no ability to send any help for you right now. This is outside of my, my, my influence. This Even is, if it's is, a uh, uh, unmanned ship that has... It would take hours to get to you, to prep and, yes. and get to you. We will be here. You will We're be, you will be back anywhere. long before any, anything else occurs. You have, you have a week. Until that's that, that disease becomes truly dangerous to your health. This is how they support the Starfinders. <laughs> what the hell? I'm suddenly hey. feeling as though I don't want you're, to be a Starfinder an, anymore. Read between the lines. You're an adventurer. Grow a pair. <laughs> what is, uh, you're an adventurer. Grow a pair. You're two hours away. I cannot help save your life. I am sorry. It is, are we? Have are to we get like, out of bed. It is very annoying. I'm I, sorry. We're being tracked to for Ghost. reality television for the entire pact. Do you I really think, think they're like going to send help to us that easily? Seventh in command of like Starfinder at this point, or uh, 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 space. <laughs> we, we are adventurers. Right we should be using every tool at our six, disposal to ensure our survival. Six, seven, eight, something like that. Like if, well, if you die and if Ozzy dies, then I will be number three. It will be great. <laughs> Uh, every time we die, you move up a number. That's like, right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what was that show? I will. I will. <laughs> I will arrange the the what you require for for healing is outside of our ability to send you in an easy manner. Your best bet is to, as you know, to try to tough it out. I will have the med bays ready when you return to take care of you immediately. Ah, Good thing I wasted the bed. the death wing that we were attacked on the way there. Did you see the uh, attack on our ship on the way there? Has there, there been any... There was some there? technical difficulty. I could not see what type of vessel it was. I did see that you came under attack. Fortunately, Gervalash Nor had had upgraded that vessel beyond its normal capacity to um, defend. Did, did he follow the ship back to where they came from? Uh, we Did lost it, it. It crashed in the drift rock. Oh, oh crap. The ship crashed on the drift rock. How convenient. That Your means that the purposes. pilot may be on the drift rock as well. It was a single person fighter. It was Eoxian, right? Yeah, the he fighter was, was Eoxian. Dead. So that means that he could make other people on the I think we need to make a more phone call to the ambassador of Eox. Why are his yeah, people sorry, attacking so us? Let us talk to Nora. I'll turn the stone on. Nobody else is cold. I'm cold. You don't count. I don't. Oh, Gra- Gra- ask Nor, I think. Grablash Gra- Gra- yeah, He sent us out to the Acreon. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, did I just pay attention a little bit? <laughs> one, one of the goblins crawls in front of you. Hey, who's that? Hi, yes, hey, so His name is Nonovia. What is it? Nanya. 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 None your business. Get off of their line. Get no, away no, from no. there. No, stop being mean to them. His name is Chiskix, and he he's very nice. They. He is they a. They are very nice. Uh, how they. you say? He is a uh, up dog. They. A bug. He's a up dog. <laughs> An up dog. Go to bed. No, stop making jokes with them. They okay, don't everybody. understand. <laughs> what is so close? So close. I know. I know. What is an up dog? His video dropped out. Not so supposed to say it. What is? Oh, no. I do not understand. Say what's up dog? What is up dog? Get me up before you. What's a Z up dog? Okay. <laughs> sure. No problem. No problem. Okay. All right. This is well, very aggressive. Have this wish. Thank you, Zia. Good Good night, Amy. Um, Good night, Good night, Henry. Good night, Henry. (laughs) (laughs) He smelled bad. He's a dog. They don't usually smell pretty. He smells delicious. (laughs) Doesn't change the fact that he goes outside more than I do. (laughs) (laughs) Feature not a bug. Are you you distributing any of the uh, devices? 
Uh, any of the, any of the loot? Yeah. We Back did. I think um, Nala was suggesting she was going to take the uh, grenades. Yeah, like Unless that. anybody else is good with grenades. We took them hiking. I, I've got a couple, so I'm good, right? Okay. If you've, because that'll put Nala with three grenades. And if you have a similar <clears throat> amount, then that works out well. But if you have an There unequal, are four grenades there. The oh, okay. I have, uh, I have two incendiary grenades and one frag grenade. Your, your buddies set off the grenade when they're playing. Oh, that's perfect. Because now Nala's got one incendiary and two shock grenades. Okay. And there is no more. Uh, Trigger, do you need an engineering kit? Uh, yes. You now have an engineering kit. Z2 incendiary? One incendiary. Both pay attention to I would assume the fire extinguisher is like the size of this microphone. It's it's not much. That's seven pounds. We looked it up. Okay. Not that big. You're right. <clears throat> Let me get the curtains to hang somewhere. I don't want to stir away too much. Oh sure. Don't forget to close their door there. Jules, you better not repeat the here. So who got the uh, bag? Just throw it in the bag. So you get all sides. That you can put in a ziploc bag. I we get all sides ziploc. That's what we always do. It works mm. perfect. So the only other. Why? That's what everybody else in the world. Why are you does. giving me the stink eye? <laughs> you put it in a leftover bag. What, what's wrong with that? No, you wrap it in the tin foil so that when you reheat it, One, you just take the Nobody tin. has used tin foil <laughs> in almost a hundred years. Aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. You wrap it oh, makes in more the sense. aluminum foil, <laughs> and then when you go to reheat it, you put it on the pan and you unwrap the aluminum foil, and bam, aluminum foil is already there. So go with the aluminum foil, wrap up each piece individually, and, and then put it in a plastic bag. Yeah, and then the environment will call and yeah. want their uh, health back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what's worse though? Seven pieces of aluminum foil or all of the plastic of one gallon bag? You guys could just eat the pizza. <laughs> God. We, we have yeah, you like that so much to put it back? Mm -hmm. You didn't like that beer either? Oh, no thanks. Thank you though. Uh, that beer is hitting four down the drain. That's how bad it was. Whoa! That wow. is. Wow. Uh, you for Jeff to see. Nope. nope. Just smell it. <laughs> nope. I drank Malort. <laughs> Look it up. It's right. like if they made pine salt into booze. And not even. Bob bought a bottle out, remember? Really good. I like that, <laughs> that was good. There's your Malort. No, no, no. But like, it tastes like like what you would think drinking pine salt would taste like for like 20 minutes. Nice. All right. Uh, you had it. You see, your, your communication is there. Chiskix doesn't have <laughs> much to add for you, unfortunately. We are making one more phone call, though. We were okay. calling, uh... Gravelas Nor. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, you, re you reach the Oxium uh, Embassy. Um, you get some dead-looking guy <coughs> on, the, on the horn. <laughs> May I help you? I'm just imagining a talking skull. Pretty close. <laughs> uh, we tell him that we're looking... We want Nor. I'm sorry, the ambassador is in deep in negotiations at the moment. He is unavailable. He is not watching our progress show. He may be, but he is also in a in a critical meeting right now where he cannot be disturbed. I hang up. Okay. <laughs> you did not want to suggest that if he is fine with causing an intergalactic incident by being attacked by an Eoxian sheep. Well, this, this ship is pretty good. Maybe we, uh, like you said. This ship is a dump. <laughs> this is not a good it's, ship. It's a floating dump. Right. All right, we come out and we say, the is right. let, us, let us go to the left. But we do not want to ask him about the attack by the Oxian sheep. He, he does not want to talk to us. You did not put a threat in. You got to put a threat in somebody. Intimidation. I will teach you how to intimidate. Oh, okay, he's my idea of your intimidation. So I just don't want to talk to that <laughs> mid-level bureaucrat. Yeah. All right, let's go. Have we come life. out, we take a left. You're going down that hallway. Is there two more hallways that we have to check out? Mm hmm Yep. The door on your left and two doors on your right. Mm -hmm. We go to the left. We're locking the, the bridge doors behind us and all the other crew quarters <laughs> doors. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Weapons drawn, ready to go. Mm -hmm. All right, who opens the door? I do. How all much right. health are you down? How many? I'm down five health. 
Useful. Stamina's good. Stamina's recharged. Okay. Thank you, resolve points. You trigger a, another jerry rig laser blast trap. What? Hopeless and feel? Not in effect? We didn't say. Didn't but say. I thought that's default every door we I, ever I, opened I, no, for this it's game. Still, it's still, I mean, it, it, it trigger, triggers when the door opens. You look okay. less in a field wouldn't do anything for you. Okay. I feel uh, like next time we need, I didn't say I was in front of the door. <laughs> yes, we'll be on the side of the door next time. Uh, I rolled a 25 plus 11. So Whoa. I rolled a 14 plus 11. I was going to say, that's amazing. On a 27, I rolled 25. Huh? Um, it, was, it was activated by the motion of your body, but mm. for the record. Oh, we need a dead goblin. <laughs> 11. A uh, trigger. 13. Yeah. You need a dead 12. goblin. 12. Sorry, 12. <laughs> yeah, I'll mark that down right now. You need a dead goblin. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I didn't damage? need it. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I take 10 minutes to rest. <laughs> wow. I mean, I can make a goblin dead, but ghost is much better at it. <laughs> All right, what's in the room? Science Bay? Not even um, open it for me. There's another bulk worth of the Knockwall um, shells, uh, uh, geodes in here. Mm. Um, are they opened? This one is open. And there are a, there's a disruptive fusion seal. Oh, you have to reheal for us. Uh-huh. Laugh at Jeff, not you. I just happened to look in your direction when I laughed. That makes yeah. no sense. It says fifth. It says disruption, disruptive fusion seal fifth. Two mark one serums of healing. Disruption seal fifth level. I guess. Wow. We need to use that immediately. I don't even know what it does. No, I, that's I, like I do. I do. I was looking. At <clears throat> that's uh, like the um, gorilla glue. The uh, Two mark one serums of health Disruption and three seal. Like, med like patches. You, you could do that boat with the. Uh, no. I'll Wait, double are check. The, the serum, are the, the healing serums mark one commercial. or mark two? Mark one. Did I type mark. one? You said two. Oh, sorry. It's the infomercial. Ari 2000? That was my favorite one. I had no use for car polish, but I love that commercial. <laughs> And the med patches are to help with the uh, saving throws. I'm picturing disruption seals being like. Uh, Holy, I want to say, but I can't remember. No, like. Here it is. Disruptive. Infomercials. Like, what's it with the sealing things? Like, you could seal the bottom of the boat with it. All right. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. The disruption fusion imbues a weapon with powerful positive energy. Designed to disrupt the magical forces that allow undead to exist. The weapon ignores any damage resistance and energy resistance of undead creatures. Only weapons that deal bludgeoning damage can benefit from this fusion. Oh, so it's a... It's a you can... You can it's adaptation a movable fusion. To the, yes. And uh, I know how to apply fusions to things. So who's got a bludgeoning weapon? They can be transferred... So we can put on one weapon and we can move it later. Is your weapon, is your <coughs> whip of bludgeon? Slash is slashing. Damn. Which makes a lot more sense than bludgeon. I suppose I could bludgeon somebody with the handle. Is the, the, the classic Vesh Doshko a bludgeoning or what is that? I don't know. I'm not using that. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, the long sword that I wanted to receive as a Doshko. Which it's never going to get used. Don't worry about it. Okay, don't worry <laughs> about it. Does anybody have a blunt weapon? On them. I got this stick. <clears throat> I have two blunt weapons. Blunt weapon one, blunt Left, weapon two. Lefty. <laughs> <laughs> Does the stick that Starboard the goblin have port. resemble the stick that we put their friend on? I have no, it's the lead pipe that Joel kept picking up in the sewer. And he goes, <laughs> look at how good this is. And he, and Parnock whacks Felrouse with it. <laughs> And Thalor goes, ow! He punches him back. I, I this doubt, is good. I am not stopping him. I doubt the effectiveness of this weapon. Perhaps you should continue the demonstration. So. I have a tactical baton. Does anyone else have a baton? Baton. Baton rouge. Baton down the hatches. Baton. No, you, neither of you have anything to hit something with. 
I got a knife. Uh, That's not a knife. Use this. <laughs> use this. I wouldn't put their disruption on their baton. Why well, don't you just hold on to it for now? Well, uh, the Nakata are dead. Are no, the Nakata's are separations. Yeah, yeah. They're not dead. Okay. Oh, then we haven't found any undead. Oh, all right. Yet. I thought they were undead. Excuse me. Oh. They're aberrant. All right. Anything else in this room? Do we have to do a no. perception or anything? You can if you want, but there's nothing else you do to find. Uh, I look to see if there's any secret uh, doors in the northern wall. I, I'm an elf, so I automatically get to tech doors within mm. five feet. No. I just didn't reveal it. My bad. <laughs> yeah, let me help. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> this is my first uh, dungeon. Come on. Your first rodeo. All right. Then I'll, I will save you guys the pain. The next two rooms are uh, more Before we go into those doors, we open them from the side and toss in pieces of cut up uh, akata. Mm-hmm. Just uh, trays from, from whatever, anything that's not cafeteria. Made. Yep, I'm with you. 13 damage is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. Wait, that can was... I give you a. Uh... I just took 10. I just knocked off a, a, a resolve point. Okay. Because right. we're almost done, right? I'm down to one. There's still the drift rock. Yeah. And you still have the two cargo bays, too. Mm. Cargo? Mm. Alright, let's go around the side to the cargo bay on the left. So you have a. Cargo bay to the top and the cargo bay to the north and south. Pick north or south. Are these the, are these considered south. pod bays? Cargo. This is for like mining ships, so I assume whatever they mine, they bring back. This well, I, just, I didn't know if they were if they were called pods in the in the future. Hmm. Because this I sounds totally like we're all of the. the <laughs> yeah, took me a couple <laughs> the, seconds. The eggs are Go ahead, and say it. What do you want to do? No, nah, I'll let it hang there. <laughs> if you get it, great. If not, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Guys, I'd just like to point out that they thought the egg things were were gonna be like things they should bring back. So I feel like there could be a lot of these. It wouldn't be the first eggs. time I've opened a door and seen a whole bunch of stuff I didn't want to see anymore and closed the door. I suggest we all draw our weapons if we have not done it already. And all right, we have uh, has two pistols: the tactile and the laser bullet hands. <clears throat> We're ready to open up the doors carefully, look, listen, feel, uh, stealthily open the doors with people around the sides. Toss in weapons. something. Oh, we use the computer to open the doors. So All right, so, so directly you, you head down the hallway. On your right is a door, probably which you assume to be a, to a um, cargo bay. Directly in front of you is the airlock, is the port side airlock. airlock? Can we control the airlocks from, uh... Yeah. Uh, no, right side is starboard. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, starboard. Port starboard. Is left. Looking... Port left. Both have five Four ports. Five letters. Yeah, I know. Four. Four. That's what we I said. Have, we have control of the traps. airlock remotely now, too, yeah? Yes. So, if anything comes out, hang on to the wall. That's totally what I'm thinking, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Is there any other uh, way to, to close the hallway off? Goblins. I'm, I'm thinking, like, is there is there a... A locking mechanism here, or here. Or right, can here, I get a marching order here? Goblins first. Didn't we have a? a whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, go first. Didn't we set a standard marching order and you, you wrote it down? You, and you like, did. It was uh, walk next to the vest. I think uh, Ozzy yeah. was one space in front of everybody else. I think it was yeah. Ozzy and Nala were in the yeah. front. And, but Ozzy was one. No, no. I think no. Ozzy got an extra ten foot space. Yeah. So put Nala back. Yeah, it was and, Ozzy, and then in the next row was Nala, and one of. The Yuso gave him his trigger. Put the, uh, I'll put Nala up against the wall. You just put me on top of him? Dirty, man. I, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you want, Nala, Jules? Jeff? Up here. Put, put, is there enough room right there? No. I, the, the maps yeah. just don't line, the squares yeah, don't line up on the map. It sucks. I'm fine where I am. Put the uh, goblins up there, then. Well, no, we're back here. Well, we're watching your backs. I hope we get attacked from the <laughs> Make sure we are far away before you shoot that. <laughs> that thing's gonna go off. It's gonna have like a freaking six block, six square radius. <laughs> we don't know how wise it is for us to let them keep those weapons, but. You wanna try and take them from them? No. No, maybe if they get one shot off before they die, that's still better. I was saying, they're only gonna have to fire it once. <clears throat> yeah. And then they don't have to worry about anything ever again. It's true. Hey, look, I can't drop it now with the sticky stuff on my hands. Uh, Let's open up the door. 
<laughs> you guys, you should try this. You never drop your weapon again. How often do you drop your weapon? <laughs> is that it a, happens. Is that a band-aid you have on your space helmet? Like right there, that is a band-aid. This one? Yes. Or this one? No, you have two band-aids. Yeah, they go like that. But if you have... So if you peel this away... We don't. You are open no. to the vacuum of space. Maybe. This does not seem very wise, no? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, you're smart too. But it works, yeah. <laughs> uh, I we suggest we put our helmets back on before we enter. Is there any um, camera inside the... Do we find... Cargo bay. Cargo bay is dark. Computer, turn on lights. Illuminate. Alexa. <laughs> Deluminate. You illuminate the cargo bay. Oh. I want Demolition Man. And then we increase the gravity times two. That impacts you just as much as everybody else. <laughs> we increase the gravity times like 100. Yeah, why well, stop there? And then just There's don't a, go to the cargo bay. The same reason I told you last time. Because <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> <laughs> it is only designed to go to 2x gravity. Right. Safety. So they open the door and let them come out at us slowly. And just pick away at them. I'm with you. I say we do this wisely. All right. You open the door. You use the camera. You don't see anything in there. Um, I feel like we should still throw something in there so I don't get freaking blasted from I'm going to detect all the magic. Three of my stamina points. You, you can throw a mattress in there or something. Goblin? You roll, you roll, you take one of those pillows and you throw it in there. 16 lasers shooting up. Nah, thank you. <laughs> see? I told you. Uh, it is clearly one of the. Uh, Storerooms. Mm, perfectly normal. Perfectly empty. Yep, nothing to worry about here. We check the ceilings. You can see inside the airlock, by the way, now, so you can see that it's closed and sealed. Um, we wouldn't have asked us for marching order if we weren't going to be fighting something. Let's just try to. We go so in like, uh, cop fashion. Two by two, st- standard two by two cover formation. Wait, yep. we threw something in there. Die hard. Pillow? Let's throw something hard that makes noise that clatters. Like a goblin? Like a lunch tray from the cafeteria. Like a hard mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I say, do they have loose mattresses on a sp- I feel like that would be ill So we toss that in. Does anything happen? Nothing happens. You, you can see inside now. It's actually, um, it looks like this really contains a small science lab, compact mining equipment, some collected rock samples from the Aquarians prospecting mission, and one more um, Akata cocoon? no cocoon. Uh, I, look, open. I look around for Mr. Roboto. Closed or open? Broken or? Broken. Uh, ghost fires into the room at a wall. With which weapon? With the uh, tactical pistol, so it makes a loud noise. Bang. And now I'm down to five shots left in that bullet, in that pistol. Oh, Jack. Quick. I heard that through my helmet. Quick, you're so key. And space. Oh no one can hear you shoot. We're do moving. Do we have quick air inventory. here. Of what? <clears throat> The boxes. <laughs> go quickly. Oh, yeah, so you are telling me to go into that room. I, I am in. I went. I walked in. Oh, you are. Oh, they didn't uh, see you. Where's either. Mr. Roboto? Is he anywhere nearby? Mr. Roboto is is hovering over the bulk of the group. I walked in. Okay. Well, I'm not letting you go first. What will the crew find in here? The only time will tell. I know we're not going to find in here if he's around. Ghost covers you as you walk in. Walk in two by two, guns a bl- guns out. Ready I'm preparing to go. a reaction. If any movement other than these Looking two happen, up, I fire. Down, left, and okay. right. No, nothing, nothing appears these to happen. These things are gone out like this, <laughs> like in the cop movies. The, like, the, the, the goblins take their cue from no you guys. They come in, they're behind you, they're hopping around. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Look at <laughs> That's what I was doing, goblins. and nobody thought it was funny. Yeah. You were a goblin. And you weren't hopping around being started. Goblins, yeah. can you go put your guns back in the last room we were in? <laughs> and be defenseless. Why don't you stay with them in the last room we were in? <laughs> I'll stay in the hallway, keeping guard, waiting for something to come out. Inventory. Out. That's why we need to do it here. All right, perception check. Yeah. Yeah. All of us? Yeah, all of us. Twelver. Fifteen. Twenty. Ooh. Natural. Wow. Ooh. Plus. Wow. What's this for? Perception? Oh, perception. My twelve. Twenty-three. Uh, plus zero. Twelve. <laughs> Natty twenty. <laughs> twenty nat. Nice. Uh, Doesn't matter on skill. Now a flight is a flame pistol. Ooh. 
Uh, so the petrol tank has Akata. eight petrol remaining. What does that mean exactly? Has eight shots left. That's a late uh, a light arm or is that long arm? Uh, it is not. It is a pistol. So a light arm. Yes. Okay. Anybody want a, a fire pistol? I've already got two weapons. I don't need a third. Stay out of there, Adam. It's the nuts. I can have nuts. You are nuts. <laughs> How are we dividing up the here. serums of healing? I say we give them both to me. <laughs> yes. I have one from some other time. I have a. I already have one, so. So I think you should. I take will pass. Not even Let's Ghost see. would question that. Oh, but come on. Okay, one. No. Wait, wait. Let me think. No. Wait, wait. I will reconsider. No. <laughs> I saw this movie once. It was about this bad guy who's kind of become a good guy and he had this big pointy nose. And he sounded just like him. It was called... And they had these little yellow guys. It was called Despicable Me. And that guy's name was Gru. I'm going to call him Gru now because he won't tell me his name. He sounds like a very handsome individual. <laughs> was he Yusuke as well? No. He, was he sounds human. like Steve Carell. He was human. He had these little twiggy legs like a little Soki. I skip leg day. I just skip leg day. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. So tell me this. What was your plan? You get onto the ship. You take things that are valuable. Yes. And then what? What were you doing? Base, base walk out. Where? There's something to pick us up. It they is always do. It is two hours by impulse flight to get here into the quarantine zone. Yeah. How do you get picked up? Uh, it happens. What happened? How much air do you have in your in your face suit if you have the band-aid on? We don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. Right. You can last for a long time with very little. Is that what you mean? Yeah. They say it kills brain cells, but I don't think so. Huh. <laughs> well, I do not think you have a very good plan. We were gonna steal the ship. That was a better plan. Yeah. But then Zasmiak died, and he's the pilot. You do not know how to fly a sheep? No. I'm the captain. Let me show you something. Yeah, how many yeah, people yeah, here yeah. know how to pilot a sheep? Raise your hands. One, two, three, four hands go up. <laughs> so you see, if the lizard man dies, we can still fly the sheep. And if Nala dies, the captain, we can still fly the sheep. You see how this works? But there's only three of us. There's five of you. I can count. I know you didn't think I could. You are this close from a three. total party kill. A TPK. <laughs> 33%. Let me tell you, your problem... 33%. You, you split the party. 67% survival rate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let us go to the other... Uh... Who's taking the flame pistol? Some, surely somebody can use something that shoots fire. I, I can use it. Stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> Take it. Eight shots. I have no use for a flame pistol. Do you, you see this big thing on my back? Trigger, you want to take the flame pistol? You should get that by a doctor. Thanks. <laughs> oh, wait. Do you, Nala, do you only have... Nala, sorry. Alisi. Alisi. Alisi for short. Yeah, just do you only have the azimuth laser pistol? You should take the flame pistol. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, good. You got eight shots on that thing. Okay. Don't <laughs> shoot it at um, Akata. Ataka. Akata. 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 All right. I have moved you in, in the map. You have not moved you are yourself. North. You're going. There you are. Look, same, listen to feel. Same as before. Throwing it a pillow. You feel, you, you feel a slight vibration from the edge of the ship. You listen, you can you can hear there might still be a slight air leak from an airlock or something. You hear a light. There's a snake on the other side. <laughs> a space snake. You can feel the light. He's got the helmets. <laughs> <laughs> I hate snakes. Rick and Morty. Why did it have to be snakes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, that's right. That was hilarious. <laughs> I just killed him. All right, are you going in? Yes. No, uh, we're opening the door uh, and throwing something in. Same, first. Exact yes. same as before. Another lunch tray is sacrificed to the gods of caution. <gasps> and I'll fire another tactical bullet. 
Bang! At least you know the direction. At least this time you've evened it out and shot by my other ear. Really? Because you held that ear both times. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Fun fact. Vests are not good with knowing their left and their right. That's <laughs> because they have a tail. It starts in the middle. They're born in the All right, and walking in, you can tell this is where the uh, this is the primary storage for uh, food supplies, water, replacement air filters, all the maintenance stuff. Um, and then right in the center is a large shipping container, approximately eight feet square. Which is not determined by eight feet square. It's actually eight feet long and four feet across. That would be this giant thing in the center. Where's uh? With a giant um, Galaxy Express sticker for shipping. <laughs> That's that great. That says to the uh, to to Gavin Larsnor and on the uh, Axiom Embassy at Epson Station. I, I wonder that was who this be is a lot for. smaller of a package. Oh, could it be the son of a bitch who sent a fighter to blow us up as we came here? Hey, Perhaps hey, it was. Hey, uh, the he robot has... man is still recording us. We have to say nice things to people that are going to give us money. He has and also maybe let us go to the tech party. I have never Ghost. said nice things. Ghost. Ghost. He has nothing to gain if uh, we die. We do not know his game plan. Perhaps he does. Maybe he just wants us to bring back maybe his package. Maybe he does not want you to look inside. Maybe he does not like you. Maybe he says... Oh, I sent him on the mission, but that that Captain Nala, mm, never mind, I blow him up. Uh, that never happens. No? No. Oh, okay. You, you realize he's undead. I don't think he needs your trade secrets. It never happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we look around. We look to see anything else in the boxes around. Uh, uh, perception? I mean, you find, you find some food that is... Yeah, you would think that it would have gone bad. Free, but freeze dried. Yeah, it's freeze dried. <laughs> <laughs> it's as though all the water inside just boiled away. How big is this package? All the flavor. This, uh, container. Is Four by eight by. I didn't catch the third dimension. Four feet high. It has a. It's not small. No, it is not small. It will, it, it will easily fit in the hippocampus. It has an anti grav switch. So you just turn it on and push it around if you want to. Let us bring this to. Sort it on the hippocampus. Yep. But, Wait, but uh, first, uh, first, do we have to make sure that there's not a, 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 a an older or a teenage girl inside running from the government? Yes. <laughs> Firefly. Ghost sends a, a types on his risk personal comms, doodly doodly doodly. and you all get a text. Doodly doodly. It's like Snapchat, so it only stays there for about three seconds before it disappears. Ooh, hey, this fast. It says, "Everybody, leave the room, and let us see if a robo caller follows you or stays in the room." <laughs> Why do you want us all to leave the room? We're not <laughs> opening the box. <laughs> Was there another entrance to the up in the left here? Yeah, I walk out the room looking against the wall that's oh. to the east. I should take the box to the ship as we were instructed. Ghost makes a show of just reloading his tactical pistol since he fired into the room, <laughs> slowly taking his time. Do you understand what's going on? I don't understand what they're doing. Why you really should up? clean that Why before you reload it. it? Yeah. What is the robot? Proper maintenance can prevent malfunctions. He sends a text. It only goes to the lizard man. Get the hell out of the room, lizard man. I am trying to open the box. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I thought we were told not hey, to open here, the box. Hey, over here, over <laughs> here. <laughs> Do not speak. Just leave that room. Beep. <laughs> I'm, are you the cap? When did you become the captain? <laughs> I am trying to steal shit. Leave that room. <laughs> Stealing is not honorable. That shouldn't be done. How many what? people have left the room? I am still in the room. You're still staying in the room? I left. I'm I called the goblins with me. I, I kind of call this selective paladinism. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell uh, Ozzy to come with me too, please. Here, you want me? You want, you want Should me to make we this? not load this on our ship first, as instructed? You want me to make this more interesting? Your decision now will impact something potentially significantly later. Cool. <laughs> I am just playing my character. As you are. <laughs> I'm just telling you that there is potential that what you do now will have ramifications down the road. No, I'm okay, okay with that. We're so not opening the box in there. because There's Lacey something. really wants to go to the dead planet, and if you open the box. And make us look like idiots in front of the guy that will get us there. Then no Lisa on uh, the dead planet. 
My I, I pull Ghost aside and I have a, a little conversation with him. What, what, is, what is it, Trigger? Ghost, I, I, I know you really want to know, know what's in the box, but we need to, we need to not worry about that right now. Trigger. We, we, I, I know, I know, I know, but, 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 but let, let's just, let's just stick with the plan and, and maybe later on, on the way back when everybody else is in, uh, asleep or something, we can try to take a look. We have risked our lives. There are monsters on the ship. You do not want to know what is in the box. What if there is money? What if there are I, 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 I didn't say I didn't want to know. I, I just said this is not the way to find out. <sighs> okay. To what, do, do you remember when I said you need to think more? Yes. Yes, I do, Trigger. <laughs> I remember. I need to think more. I need to stop killing people and I need to think more. <laughs> okay. I follow you, Trigger. You te- you are you are the smart one. He sends a text <clears throat> to everybody. I am not opening the box. I would like to open the box, but Trigger says do not open the box. I will not open the box. Trigger, is it okay if we scan it? <laughs> Yes, we we can. We, I'm I'm already scanning. He did not tell us not to scan it. He just told us not to open this. I believe our instructions problem. were to return the box unopened, and that is what we will do. That's what we're gonna do. Don't don't Alicia, will, will you help me guide? The, I, I engage the grav lift on it. Alicia, will you help me guide this back to the uh, hippocampus? It. Ghost turns off the grav lift. Wait, we are scanning it. Oh we my foot! <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, you idiot! Oh, did I get your foot? Oh, so sorry. Engage the grav lift. Engage the grav lift. Oh, oh you want these to pull, pull, pull back on? Yes, back on. It's right here. I'm oh, trying okay. to reach it. Click. Oh, 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 wow! My foot comes out twice the size. <laughs> and suddenly it's furry too. And he turns it back on. <laughs> it's kind of like uh. John Candy. Exactly. <laughs> what do you see with your scans? What does he see with this? Uh, we're, 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 we're still scanning. Need a computer check, Mikey. Yep. I will assist. I will also. That's good. We'll give him a plus two every time we What's do What's a computer? <laughs> I got a 14. You got a beat of 10. I beat a 10 as well. So we give him a plus 2 and a plus 2. So That's a plus a... 4. Whoa. Wow, you're good at this. I'm super good at this. 20, 20, 26. Plus 4 or not including plus 4? Including the plus 4. All right, so you scan it. It's a... Red line box. It's a hollow box. You don't detect any life signs inside of it. Well, that's um, cool. It is sealed to the, to the atmosphere, so opening it will release atmosphere into it. It um, does not appear to hold any um, anything that would trigger a red flag going through customs. Like there's nothing radioactive in it or anything like that. Not like we're gonna have to deal with customs. But... <clears throat> Are there life signs, or is that being blocked? I believe I said you don't. I don't. You don't detect anything living inside. It. What about Although, materials? What, what could it be something cryosleep? Like it may not necessarily show us alive. That's true. Oh, no, true. This is the dead planet. That's true. What if, if a I'm person? Totally well, that's the thing that is that do the dead the guys? Bam. Do the undead guys show up on life scans? They did not. On the, well, uh, did we get a life scan on the? Well, oh, we got a life sign on the ship. You did get a life scan. The one that attacked us had a life sign on it, but that doesn't mean that they were undead. I would imagine an undead creature does not show up on scans for life. Yeah, but can you scan for undead? Oh, I think <laughs> there's a separate scan for that, like a magical <laughs> scanner kind of thing. Like a detect. Go ahead. Scan for humanoids. It's a cantrip. Scan for humanoids. It's not a cantrip. You're you're able to determine what's not in the box. Like it's not putting off giant levels of radiation. Mm -hmm. Getting a picture of what's inside the box is not proving feasible. Okay. Uh, You get a faint. You you detect all magic spells, effects, items, objects, and hybrids, including those on or affecting creatures you can see. You you are getting a weak magic feeling from it. What kind of feeling? What do, you, what do you so, see? So, so, so let's put it this way. So if, if you were to put your hand on top of a piece of uh, of, of magic dynamite, it would be vibrating, vibrating like... But you're like, you're getting... Okay, but this is the... 
Yeah, um, it, was lame. It, didn't come out, it didn't work for me. It, it was worked. horrible. That was it says, it says, it says, I can determine if one magic source detected is from a spell, magic item, or other effect. Other effect. And the caster level or item level of the effect. You can't determine that. It's outside your scope. Okay. It's outside your experience. It's too high a level for you to know. We got no response from the Drift Rock, right, when we sent out that communication? Correct. Okay. I say we, I say we leave this here for now. I think our work on this vessel is done. We, we oh, load this is... into the hippocampus and take the hippocampus over to the Drift Rock. What if, we are, what if the hippocampus is attacked again and then the package is destroyed? Then we would die. Well, but this would be safe. What if it is attacked while it is docked to the ship? Perhaps we you, you you were contracted to retrieve the package. I know. That would mean you bring it with you. Let's <laughs> we get, if we but don't we bring the box, yet. then we don't get no money. But we are not leaving yet. We have fully we investigated the ship. Are we not going to the drift rock next? Yeah, we have yes. to go to the rock. Don't put this in yet. What if we get attacked in the ship? Are we gonna come back here? No. I might. I might want a meal. Something delicious. That catch kitchen is. Help me nice. load this into the ship. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I, I re-engage the grav lift and take a half a step backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and goes to assist you in moving the package. It's killing you. It's like acid in your mouth, isn't it? <laughs> if Trigger didn't say no, I would totally open this thing up. <laughs> thank goodness. Thank Make you, Make sure not to leave him alone I honestly expected this to be a longer conversation. <laughs> Whatever Trigger says, I do. That's, that's the role. He has saved my life on many occasions. He is smarter than I am. All right. Turning the page. Ooh, Although I am dying to know what's inside of that box. I want to know what's in mm. the box. I have no cares whatsoever what's in the box. <laughs> Matters to me not. As a player, I totally want to know what's in the oh, box. Oh, I want to know what's in the box, too. I don't Go, the Don't worry. We, we may get that box open yet. As a player, I don't think there's anything in the box. I, I think whatever's in the box is going to be made up on the spot. Which I, is I know exactly what is in the box. I think there's got to be something in there because he's using a pre-created adventure. So yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the ambassador must have something in there. As a character, it makes no difference to me whatsoever. As Do a you, player, I know I'll find out eventually anyway. Yeah. <laughs> One last question. Maybe this is a life science check, but if a creature is in like um, stasis, cryogenic stasis, does it show as a life sign or not? I was going to say, we, can we check for uh, b- 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 biological material as opposed to signs of life? Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, because it could be like, um, I don't know, quartz, a bunch of plants. Hmm. It could be gold, the blooms, or it's just beyond your wildest dreams. <gasps> God, that I? is just horrible for you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't start something now. I have to go to bed soon. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. He's, he's doing a lot of work over there. I feel like he's lining up a combat. We yeah. are. I think I, we're ready. They stopped the reflection I can see in the TV screen. It looks like he's lighting something up. Yeah, I'm trying I was to trying see. to get to it at lunch today, but I couldn't get to it. I had to work. Oh, well, you had to do work at work? At lunchtime at work. That's a different story. That's true. I didn't get a lot of, I didn't get a lot of fun time today. I should have done it last night, but instead I was busy taking care of life. Yeah, and, and playing with the dog and the cat and big you, I, you didn't, you do nothing for the cats. He was there. I was there. I feed them, clean up their oh, poop. Cats. I heard something entirely different. What did you hear? Something to do with robotics? I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Cast, and then I translated. I, I had an idea in my head, and I went with it. All right. I chose poorly. Yeah. What else to do? Yeah. All right. So you have um, you've, lo- you've loaded the uh, the um, crate onto the hippocampus. You have uh, two ways to get to the drift rock. You Are can... the goblins going to want to come with us? I want Are we them... invited? Do you want us to come? I want them with me <clears throat> with my eyes because I do not want them wandering around stealing our sheep. They come with us. They're not not invited. <laughs> All right. So you you so you you you. I wouldn't you, call you welcome, but we won't throw you. You walk it back to the hippocampus, and uh, Plarnark walks up next to next to Ghost. 
reached out and holds his hand like a little kid holding dad's Aww. hand. <laughs> Wouldn't it be like two kids holding hands? <laughs> <laughs> Am I killing him yet? <laughs> um, he, just, he slaps at his hand. <laughs> Get what away from me. Did you, you roll st- for a motion? <laughs> You're ro- you are stinky. Get away from me. Uh, I'm going to spend 10 minutes. I told minutes. the goblins to I said, come here. While we're back on our ship, I'll spend 10 minutes and just put the disruption on his tactical baton. We can always transfer it to another weapon, but better yeah. to use it than not use okay, it. Okay, so um, I was we actually going to... We have how long for this mission? Like a week, right? Yeah. As long as you need. Oh, why don't we take a day and rest? I like that. You've, you've cleared the ship. There's no reason you can't take a day and rest. As a, I am trained in things of medicine, and I will point out one potential problem. If you rest today, you feel good now, yeah? Tomorrow you may wake up, and you may feel worse. <coughs> so Tomorrow you, I will wake up and have all of my resolve points restored. And you have uh, you, you have to make a check on the disease. That's there were what three I'm talking me- about. Well, there are three med kits that will give a bonus to that as well. Yeah. That you true. found as equipment. So... Um, I will say in, the, in the, the podcast I listened to, they spent like four days on there because they kept failing their checks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's spend the night. That, then I can and transfer the How many hit points well. do we gen- regenerate per day? One? Uh, two and a full day's rest, one otherwise. So I think so. we should rest for a full day. All right, so you load everything on the hippocampus. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to sleep on the big ship. You're going to use galley. Gonna... Uh, I say we stay on our on the hippocampus. Yeah. The hippocampus does not have quarters. It's a it's a shuttle. I so per- you're sleeping on the care. floor versus sleeping on a bed. Well, I guess we leave it. We leave it docked, and we we just move, we we can move beds into the hippocampus. There, 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 there isn't room for beds in the hip. I mean, it's like it's a shuttle. Bed. Remember, it's it's the shuttle that same set every time with the two seats and like the the, the, oh. the chaise lounge in the background. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's a Star Trek shuttle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. So. Um, <coughs> there is food. Do we have food two on the shuttle? For <laughs> um, you have you have rations on the. Sh- you have you know, your own little packs. Guys, we can cook for you. Oh, we should grab some food for the goblins because I don't want them. To so we we can cook for you. There's food in the, in the cargo bay and there's a galley. We can. Mwah! Sense motive. Plyrock is is <laughs> well known as a chef among chefs with the goblins. I've never had goblin cuisine before. Me neither. This should be fine. Uh, sense motive 25. Natural 20. <laughs> Everything that you're saying is completely from the heart. They, they adore you. They think you rescued them. Wait, they, will go to the bat, they will go to bat for you. They will do anything they can to except, help you. Except, except for jump in front of us. What do we know about goblin food room first. if I do a culture check? Is, is there much to be known about goblin food? 29. <laughs> they eat rat droppings. Okay, that's that's what I need to know. They, well, they eat anything. They yeah, the stuffing so, of a. So, so they you're they, telling me that if you feed a Yosoki, <laughs> then you're also going to eventually feed a goblin. <laughs> I, is this racist? I don't understand. What does this mean? <laughs> Am I supposed to be offended right now? No, just laugh. We are living in twenty seven thirty four. So the question... The, the, Don't live like it's 2233. Those may, ways are old. They may be able to cook you something appetizing. They may not. Pass. We Pass. should give... Not, Whoa. Not, not You're not going to try something in a right? character? I am not eating goblin poop. No. No, but what if what if they're actually really good? And then we get some really good food but instead of good. the crappy rations? You know, you are right. I did not think of it like this. You eat it. Okay. I am not eating that. I think it would be wonderful if you would cook for us goblins. Awesome. All right, so they... they it's going to be horrible. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to roll. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've seen him roll. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> um, were you guys hanging out? I think we hang out on the um, a Creon. Anywhere specific? The bridge. The bridge the... I'm thinking the bridge. That way we have access to everything if we... If I'm, we I'm a soldier. I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're taking one of the quarters? Yeah. Um, I'll take a bed in a quarter. Is anybody going to watch the, the goblins cook or assist? I want to watch. Okay, you're going to watch. Um, trigger, ghost. Where are you guys? Hey, somebody should I be think the gonna, I think we're going to watch the package. Somebody should be no. on the bridge, and maybe somebody should be on the shuttle, and we guard the package, and we guard the bridge. I don't think we have any okay. reason to be on the shuttle. The Yusoki want to guard the package by themselves. <clears throat> The well, you didn't hear us say that, so. I mean, you already went off to the kitchen. 
our best pilot and best uh, computer and engine pilot computing and engineering should be on the bridge. Well, I'm the I'm the pilot and the engineering guy, so yeah, bridge for you. I'm on the bridge. <laughs> I'm a I'm a soldier. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> Is it not what we're going to spend the next day doing? You, you've never been around soldiers, have you? <laughs> All right, so so soldiers napping. You're with the goblins. Nala's Unless on the bridge. Would like to gamble, I'm going to take a nap. <clears throat> Ghost is. Want to gamble on how many goblin foods? I can think eat. somebody should guard the package. No. We'll keep it with us on the bridge. <laughs> it doesn't. There, there isn't room on the bridge for an eight by four box. I will take it in the hallway. We can guard it there. Can, can I agree. I, can I lock them out of the. Uh... <laughs> the, uh... Do you want to nap on top of it? Maybe I should do that. <laughs> you, you think you're going to have much effect on the anti-gravity <laughs> thing? Push it down the hallway, and now it's in front of the doors. I'm going to wake up in the, the shower. <laughs> <laughs> it's easily mobile right now. All right, so so the package is now in the middle of the hallway. Perfect. Sort of outside the... the, the uh, it's the main hall corridor, yep. and but it's outside the gallery. Four, I can fit on that, with a basket on top of it. <laughs> Did you drag one of the mattresses out so you could enjoy it? No, come on, I'm a soldier. I sleep anywhere. It's called being a K-er in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so the goblins start cooking, and much to your surprise, the smell is not atrocious. Yet. So I'm going to roll a d20. The higher I roll, the better it is. <clears throat> no, that's not fair. <laughs> What? Food-wise? Food Flavor-wise, yes. <gasps> oh, 16! 16? That's pretty good. Wow. This is going to be terrible. They're going to hate this. No, this is going to be great. Look, at, I found this stuff called garlic. That's supposed to be really good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Put that in there. And then, and then... I'm just like, can I, can I, can I at least encourage them to give them plus two to the wall? <laughs> <laughs> So they come out with this this pot. It sort of resembles chicken soup. Um, the broth is actually relatively flavor. Oh, who's eating it? Uh, Ghost is not eating it. He's going to make himself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> the jelly is frozen, but the peanut butter is okay. He takes it to the space microwave. <laughs> space microwave. The space wave. We're just going to space, oh, space wave. Are we just going to put space in front of everything. <laughs> you bring the space PBJ. He just he takes his laser, his azimuth laser pistol, and puts it on off, on off. Just tries to heat it slightly. <laughs> we have the uh, the burn gun now, right? The, the flame gun. We I just it. I just go over to the little stimulator thing in the wall and I type it for me. Oh, that's a good T. Point. Earl Grey, hot. They don't have replicators on this. Son of a. That's why they have rations and stuff in the in the in the cargo bag. Makes sense. All right, so the really, what year are we in, for God's sake? Know, right? This future, dude, dude, matter replication is, is is still a dream of any in, in this place. This is barbaric. I agree. This is totally barbaric. <laughs> I can't live under these conditions anymore. Uh, That's Ghost, it. I quit. Ghost finds a stash of hot pockets and he starts stashing them in his cheeks for later. And oh, you, and, pepperoni, and, and, excellent. In a in a in a, in a, 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 a cardboard carton of blue milk, like in you know Star Wars. So. Yeah, but you know where he gets that from now. It's good. <laughs> Trigger, Trigger is looking for lean pockets. <laughs> He's on a diet. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys, uh, d d dinner comes out. The table, there's not a table in there, but there's... The things fold down to represent a table. You eat as a group. Those who eat the goblin's food actually find it is quite tasty. Uh, you may or may not... Tasty. You may or may not encourage the others to eat it. Come on, Ghost, try it. Try. Try it. You'll like it. What if, what if it's it. a little spaceship? Do you want to let the spaceship, the spaceship into the garage? <laughs> Ghost looks like <lovely. laughs> You people are weird. <coughs> and he gets up and goes. How do your cheek pouches work when you're eating? Lots of space. But like, do you, do you, like, do you sometimes get like peanut butter on your gums? No, it is separate. Uh, How uh, is it separate? It's all in your mouth. You you eat gum sometimes, yeah, mm -hmm. and then sometimes you do not want to chew the gum, and you are having conversation, 
and you take the gum and you put it in the little tiny, your super tiny little pocket, super tiny, but you can still talk, right? Yeah. It is the same thing, except I have like No, but 15, like you have, what if you put food in your mouth? It's like the gum. It's a little tiny. You put it in the side. You don't think about it. It's not. If I put gum on the side and then I start eating, and then the gum goes down with the food. Well, that's because you have a stupid, <laughs> tiny little cheek pouch that is malformed <laughs> and like a freak of nature. But like, does your food taste like whatever's in your cheek pouch? No, it tastes like the food because. Like, the what if you put a PBJ in your cheek pouch? What would happen? It would be separate and stored and nice and dry and preserved. <laughs> Like if you took it out a couple of days later, how would it would it taste the same? Yes, it is delicious. It is wonderful. I am sorry for you that you do not have such a thing. I know you are jealous, but do not worry. Oh my God! Dessert comes out. It's a natural nineteen. It's like they actually read the reductions on the brownies and made them right. Except they took them out of the oven two minutes early, so they were just a little still gooey in the middle. Oh, that's good. Yeah, ah. and they find ice cream, free start ice cream. But, ice cream. <laughs> but it's ice cream nonetheless. I love how we're no longer in the 1950s at a diner. We are in 2734, yeah. and we're it's still so... eating. Yeah. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. You guys are having a great time. Why am I going to stop? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I've trigger, always trigger, wondered. Trigger. Oh, my, my turn to ask a question about the cheek pouches. Nobody if you have a peanut that. butter and jelly sandwich in your cheek pouch, could you hold 10 pounds of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in your cheek Oh, no, I guess you need one pound. I have a question. Uh, and then... Could you spit? Ten pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Could One you spit bolt. the peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Keep your mouth closed. Get the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches out of your cheek pouches and eat them all without opening your mouth. Yes. Good child's play. Good. And an azimuth pistol as well. Could you, could you put azimuth pistol? Peanut butter sandwich on one side, jelly sandwich on the other side, and I could go into the middle to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yes. All things are possible. It, I feel very sad for you that you are not Yisoki, that you cannot experience this this thing. I am sorry. That is amazing. I, I can't imagine what somebody listening to this is thinking. Excuse me, I must I must find them. Can myself. we play now? <laughs> <laughs> and he leaves the he leaves the leaves the galley as your uh, brownies are being served. I listen. Uh, no but wait, but wait, but wait, wait, If you have He's if gone. you if you He's gone. But I have a question. He's down the hallway. Okay. He's Lisi, examining uh, the package. No no no, he's going to the package! Lisi, that means more food for us. Uh-huh. But he's going to the package. Go get him. But he doesn't listen. Go get them. I'm eating, I'm eating brownies. So am I. We should bring the brownies with us. Ooh. We bring the brownies with us. Let me guess. You're taking the whole tray and you just have a spoon and you're just tearing bites out of yeah, it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Come on, getting brownie out from underneath your claws is a real pain in the butt. Yeah, but it's so good. <laughs> All right. I, I can lick it for days. Does he even need a squat? Uh, is he just like putting his face in the trunk, Like. All right, time goes by. Um, it's time to rest. You know, dinner's, dinner's done. Um, I mean, you, you, you could, um, since I know you have a fetish about the box, you could put the box at the hippocampus, you could lock the door to the hippocampus, you could seal that, put a coat on it for yourself, if that's your concern. No, it's all good, we'll leave it in the hallway for now. I, I, I want to put a coat on it that, that, that they don't know. Trigger and ghosts don't have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... Are there other watches, or are you just going to... Well, I think we have to keep watch on the bridge. I agree. Mm. So even if it's... Uh, even, like, just make sure to set the comms to, like, speaker. Let's just do two people each shift, three shifts overnight. Stand... Yep. Okay. We get up! Three-point watch, 16 hours, sounds good. Okay. A subtle one. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's staying up with whom? Uh, Trigger and Ghost are together. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly, I will take Ghost because I have more questions about the cheek pouch. Honestly, the best person to go with Ghost is Nala because she puts plant ideas in his head that help with the conscience. <laughs> well, tr- if Trigger says no, then Ghost won't do it. Just so as long as Trigger's the one you gotta be worried about, <laughs> making sure he stays persuaded in the. I'll keep an eye on Ghost. As you wish. Then I'm gonna go with Trigger because I want to talk about the cheek pouches. All right, Nala gets to hang out with the go- with the goblins. <laughs> That's what you get when you're asleep. At the table. <laughs> um, everybody's shift passes without incident. I mean, and we're resting too. So yes. I, I get my one hit point back, yes. two hit points, and my resolve points, and we have to roll. For and you'll have to roll. How yes. many hit points are you down? I'm still down three. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ghost, do this. 
No, no, not yet. No, not I mean um, the three hit points. As a as a doctor, I can treat deadly wounds and I can heal you the equivalent of your level in hit points. But I don't think he likes you enough yet. That's fair. So, um, no. Go, uh, uh, Trigger's me. ears are actually drooping for the number of questions that Ailisi has asked. Um, he doesn't get the benefit of the rest <laughs> as much. Uh, you mean ghost, right? I mean, I mean, yeah. Okay. I thought I was watching Ghost, and she was watching Trigger. She was a Trigger. Yeah. You were with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got second uh, act. Is Na- Nala is um, at Sleep. wit's end after spending the you know four straight hours <laughs> with the goblins. <laughs> All right, it, it is the next day, so those of you who still have to make a save, which I believe is Nala, hold on a second before you do that, Ozzy, and Trigger. There are there, You did find three med packs, which I believe give a benefit to that save if applied prior to doing so. Yep. So Anything I can do to help my rolls today. It looks like spray flesh lets you attempt anything in the middle. To, if you've already done your save, if you're using a med patch in medicine... Uh, if I make the save, then you can get a plus four to your save. Are you willing to help me? Nobody's willing to help I Trigger. I think maybe. I think I mean, maybe. Is, is Ghost willing to help? Or is, yeah, is Ghost willing to help Ozzy? I think I need you to <coughs> secure the packet so we can get back, so we can get paid. So I want to get paid really badly, so I think I will use my money. <coughs> and you understand we don't get paid if we open the package. I get paid less. We still get paid. He never said don't open the package. It was strongly implied that you were not supposed to open the package. Was, yeah, return it undisturbed or something like that. Yes. Well, it was. But I think at one point he specifically said you would. We would get. Paid I read. Less. I read, uh, I don't remember saying that, but I do remember was, him saying that. It was two payments. One payment was to investigate. Yeah, it was two separate then payments. Then there's five hundred per person mm-hmm. if the package is returned unopened. Yeah, it's like double if we return it. It was like six hundred for exploring and five hundred for exactly. returning. So like that's like double. That's, that's a, lot. a lot. It is a lot. Uh, so are you gonna your 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 Mr. Hyde is gonna uh, help me so I can save you from your Dr. Jekyll? Is that what <laughs> it kind of boils down to? I think so. Alright, so you're gonna apply all three, one to each of them? Yeah. Make three med checks. We have three med patches. They're one time only. Once the med patches get used, what's the DC? Is it a? I would assume it's like DC ten. It can't be hard. Uh, let me just look up. I think medicine has it. <coughs> Base deadly wounds is a twenty. Oh, that's a med patch. It allows you to attempt the medicine check untrained with a plus ten. Sure, that's something. Page one forty three. That's where I need to go. One forty-one, forty-two. Medicine. Where is disease? Treat disease. You can use medicine to treat a creature suffering from a disease. It takes ten minutes. Requires a med kit or medical lab or medical bay on the ship. I have the med kit. Every time the diseased creature attempts a saving throw, you can attempt a medicine check. If your result recedes, exceeds the DC of the disease, Ten. that person gets a plus four. All right. So it's can you deep. fail? <laughs> uh, there's no there's no harm if I get a one. No, but I mean is if you get a one, would you end up with a ten anyway? Oh, that's a good point. Let's Probably. see. <laughs> Where's the? Can you take twenty? <laughs> I don't think you can take twenty. No, I don't think you can take it. twenty on it. Uh, my medicine is. Or you can uh, take ten. Is plus ten. So you so, can't fail. I can't fail. I, I do like that there's no failure on there's no critical success or failure on a skill. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I think a balance is better. So yeah. Alright, so you all get plus, plus four. Plus, plus four. four. So you need you have a DC six. Gotta roll the die. Four. And you have a plus two yourself. What do you have for your four, four? Why do we no, this is a fortitude roll last time. This is a fortitude check with a DC of DC six. Mm-hmm. So add, add whatever your bonus is to your roll. What's your bonus? I don't want to say it out loud. Oh, okay. Good luck. Whew. Saved. I rolled a five. I have a plus four bonus. That's a good bonus. I don't so that have is any bonus. Day one save. No, that, we did a save already. Yeah, so this is day two save. So I believe that I've completely fought you off. Are, you have fought off the the alien larva. You are no longer yeah. pregnant. Hey, do you want to be oh, alien done. pregnant? Roll the die. By the way, if you didn't give me that bonus, or I would have failed once. Really? Yeah, because I would have two, two consecutive successes. You know, I had a. He rolled a nat twenty. Nala shakes off the disease as well. Trigger. Yes. Time for you to make a save against it's your. Um, it's a fort, fort save. Larvae. Fort save at a plus four. 
He had a 10% chance of failing. <clears throat> I can't Would save it plus four. I was using that whole stack. He's so got no bonuses to. on Ford, I think. Uh, I made it. 17. Nice. All right. Um, well, fought off the infection. Can they be reinfected? If we get bit again, I'm sure we can. If they get bited again, yes. Uh, so there's no natural immunity. Ooh. Did it not like get bitten? Oh, it's a, it's a parasitic One, infection, it, it not does like a. Uh, oh, that's true. It probably would have been uh, immunized. But, yeah. uh, so you can you can get to the drift rock in two ways. Yeah. You can fly the hippocampus there, attempt to find a landing spot, or you can, um, for lack of a better term, zip line down any one of the tethered. Ooh, I want cables. a zip line. And the, you said the drift rock is big. Uh, a couple thousand than, feet across. It's bigger than the ship. It seems as though it would be wiser to take the hippocampus there yeah. and visually inspect it, look for signs of life, perhaps another ship that the, a lifeboat that the crew from this ship, ship took out there. I think you are right. That's even get a better scan. But also, zip lining is more fun. There, there is no record or location for another vessel, so they would have traversed it via the tow lines. I still feel as though we could. That, that is that is a good point, um, God. <laughs> so that you would know. I know. Yeah, no. no. But I feel as I feel as though we would be able to scan visually, inspect the rock much faster, looking for signs of life, if we were in the hippocampus. I agree. And the Eoxian fighter that tried to kill us, uh, Chiswick told us that it crashed on the drift rock, so we can scan for that as well to see if we can find the impact site. That is a good point as well. Then let us go into the shuttle. I want to take the zip. I tell you what, you, you can take the zip line. We will take the shuttle. We'll Yay. meet you there, yes. All it's right. a good time to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's I, I assume you're taking the package with you? Oh, it's, yeah, it's coming on the hippocampus. Yeah. And a okay. locked location. We have no need to come back. The, uh, then do we take our Nakata stuff as well, the cocoons? Oh, hell yeah. All of our loot. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I assumed you would have... I assumed you weren't carrying that bulk around. You were making periodic trips to drop it off at the... Okay. Or at least putting it in one place to carry well, yeah, out Yeah, kind of leaving it behind and clearing it, clear, yes. picking it up on the way out. That's more what I was thinking, too. Just leaving yeah. it and then transferring at the end. All right. <clears throat> I'll wait one minute for Jeff. The ship Not is, like he's going to be awake. Just to confirm, the big ship... He will for the first 30 seconds. It the Acreon. Is, uh, the Acreon. It, it cannot fly right now. Is that true? Uh, it was powered down when it got here. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys... Turn systems back on. I don't know that you actually powered it all the way up. You don't know that you can't power it all the way up without. <coughs> there, there is a computer lock on it from Absalon Station that prevents it from getting closer. Uh -huh. Oh, can it be flown? Can it, I feel like it'd be safer just fly it in and I then agree. inspect the drift rock with like you know an army there. I agree. No, the, the point but is they're they not going to let us do that. Well, they don't. They don't want to take the chance of bringing a contaminant or anything back. But if we detach the drift rock and we fly it, I'm just wondering: can we fly that ship? Does it have the power to fly? It's a crappy ship. Better than a shuttle. Can we fly the drift rock? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with this? Oh my god. Just give it to him. I want to pull it all right now. What? I want to pull it all right now. Do what? Say something entirely off topic. Thank you for preventing me from doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that eye roll was all I needed. <laughs> um, all right, we board the hippocampus. Mm -hmm. You take your. Except for Eileen, she, she zip lines. She zip lines over. She boards the ship with you. With the goblins. No, I want to take the zip line. All right, guys. stop being a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for playing my character. <laughs> you did very well. <laughs> you, you can you you've started to to filter out Robo Cosell, Mr. Oh, yeah. Roboto. Oh, I've been doing it since he started. You, you can I've hear. I've been him. listening intently to everything he says. You can, you can hear him just building the, the excitement to a crescendo of you heading over to the drift rock to finally see what's gonna what's over there. Uh, you head out. You make a, a couple of orbits of the um, drift rock. I think we did more than a couple, but yeah, <coughs> it's not that big. It's a couple thousand feet across. Do we see any sign? I, no of <coughs> I, set, I, think, we're, I think we're traveling at a thousand miles per hour. We're, uh, we go around it pretty quickly. The, the we're, we're traveling relative velocity. Okay. The, set, the well, sensors pick up very little. Um, it's almost as, as if the rock is just a, absorbing or reflecting everything. You do get a uh, fine note um, based on what you had pulled from the Acreon logs. You do find the entrance to a cave. Hmm. I think we saw that when we came in. Is it the same entrance? I yes, think? except now there's a ship there. Um, is it what kind of ship? Yeah. It's not the Necroglider. 
It's bigger. It's so the ship came in when we weren't looking. You've been on the Creon for a day and a half. Ugh, crap. Captain alert. And nobody else saw the ship come in. At least. She was announced that, Captain. Yo, oh. alert. All hands. <laughs> hey, Captain. Hi, right, Captain. I shoot the I shoot the ship. Captain, permission to fire. <laughs> Hailing frequencies. That didn't sound like permission granted. Hailing frequencies are open, sir. Also didn't sound like permission to uh, let's do a scan of the ship first. Firing on ship in three, the, the, uh, two. Uh, Mia does, uh, well, like she's not I think a computer check will give you a scan, which now you're a Lisi. Ilysia? Score. Ilysia. What'd you roll? You can just say Lisi. 12 plus 8, 20. Ooh, nice and what are you doing? Computers for scanning for life signs on the uh, alien vessel. All right. The ship. Uh, it, is a, it is a design that none of you recognize. How about the database of infinite number of ships that... It doesn't match anything in the database. The drift ship. Dun, dun, dun. Is that what the, Mr. Roboto calls it? it doesn't the match drift anything. rock is giving birth <laughs> to uh, drift ships. Ghost, <laughs> ghost and Trigger, can you give me a perception check? Certainly. Um, yes. Should we hail the ship? We can have a number of ships. Uh, you just carry the rock around with us. We can often. sell these ships. Every time it gives birth to one of these. <laughs> Mikey, what'd you get for your perception? Hold on. Uh, 14. Uh, 14. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, Jules. What was it, Mikey? I think you are. 14, bud. 14. You don't notice it, but um, ghost blood runs cold. Oh, crap. That ship is reminiscent of what he'd seen previously at your um, training location. His memory Similar to the sold. ship that brought you there. And that you're going to operate on. Uh, t- trigger? Trigger. Yes. Trigger, that is from the academy. We got to get out of here now. Captain, Captain, we must leave now. Fire. Fire you, you, everything. You pick up three life signs. Fire torpedoes. Now. Human? Firing torpedoes. You don't have torpedoes. <laughs> Two. Wait for somebody's tell yes, me. Yes, human. Stop. Three human life signs on the on the on the surface. Humanoid? Human. 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 Hail them. Trigger, they are from our previous life. We do not want to talk to them. Alright, they we they, need to they, they get a response. Good night, sweetie. Pizza is not packaged. Good night, uh, no, you don't stick me with that. Just put it in a bag. It takes put it in a Ziploc bag. Okay. Trust us. Um, you actually get a response. And the response is? I'm waiting for the, ha- the initial hail. Uh, this is the uh, hippocampus uh, uh, hailing the three life signs that we, human life signs on the ship. Uh, actually, it's on we, the are, we have exclusive rights to investigate this ship. You are violating the quarantine. Uh, prepare to be boarded. Sure. <laughs> You're new at this, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool one, man. Nice one. You're horrible at this. We know who you are. And we don't care what you're allowed to say and do. You have two friends of ours on board. We would like them to join us for a discussion. So they're we have no the ship. friends. They're outside of the ship. Ca- Captain, may I recommend a course of action? <clears throat> permission denied. Awesome. I tell them permission denied. Request denied. Ghost trigger. You know where you belong. You owe us for everything we have trained you to do. Captain, come, come back and all will be forgiven. Captain, I have a suggestion. These are very bad we- people. I think you should lock weapons and fire. Ghost, give me one more perception check. <clears throat> What's the, what, uh, perhaps we should radio in and get the. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll that with a Benny. Okay. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Twenty-three. Punishment for violating. You recognize the voice as the only other person who ever showed you compassion there. Not another. Doctor Argus. Yes. Dun dun. Son dun. of. A... Ghost has a flashback. In the flashback, he is beaten 
barely within an inch of his life. It's a somewhat younger ghost. He doesn't have the hole in his ear, that little tag that's been taken out. And he's bleeding on the, on the bed of a doctor's office, and this human comes out uh, dressed in black and tends to his wounds and says in a voice that is identical to what our game master just said, oh, how? you really should learn to defend yourself. It will help much more in the trials that come ahead. And flashback. Don't do that. Was, that was amazing. We could all see inside of his brain. <laughs> I closed the channel. Yeah, you know, and I go, it options. For, for Lisi and Nalo, but not so much for the rest of you. Yeah. Options. Yeah, right? Uh, we, we held back to... Uh, Gravelarsk. Gravelarsk? Gravelarnor. Gravelarnor. And uh, get a course of action. Uh, else, and he, he's, he's representing the Absalom Station in this manner, is he not? What? Or do we hail back to Absalom Station and, and get them to give us a course of action? Let's hail They're back. violating the quarantine. They're clearly out of bounds. They will do more than that if you are not careful. They are very powerful. These people are more powerful than many governments. They will not hesitate to take you out. There are three of them. What am I concerned about? Do you know how what three of them can do? They can topple a government. I'm not a government. They need to topple a vesk. Exactly. You are way smaller than government lizard man. You are like a little newt. <laughs> the time we spend talking right now is closer to our how own death. How dare you call me a newt? I know. Imagine. And that is just me. Imagine three of them. If they all called me newts, I might fly into a rage. Are they still outside of their ship? <laughs> they are. Call back, call back to headquarters. Call back to uh, G-Nor. G-Nor. <laughs> you guys so disappoint me. It's like you don't want to make a decision. Somebody, tell me what to do. Somebody, tell me what to do. <laughs> you know, this this is this is in my within my. Uh... We've been hired for like within a yeah. less than this is outside four of, eight, a week's time. This is outside of our mission parameters. We should ha- we should radio back into headquarters and. I'm telling you what to do. Get They're an just officer to, to me. <laughs> what should we do? Take them out. Take them out. If, if, here's the thing that you have to realize too. If you. Shoot them there. There's a very good chance you'll collapse the entrance to the cave. That's not my problem. I want to go in the cave. I've got bigger problems. Target lock them, and then, and call them. I we, I want a target lock on them, and I want to talk to Grand North. Targeting phasers. <laughs> Acquiring lock. I I actually need a computer check for that. I, I'm the fucking gunner. I don't use a computer. I use guns. <laughs> I take 20. 13 plus 8 Please. is 21. Yeah, right take it and put it in the kitchen so we don't it. Take two from Mommy. Take one from Mommy. Okay. You want a targeting solution, Jeff? You need a targeting solution? That's your science officer, I think. A target. Oh, Ali, Ali, see. The solution is I target them. You get, the, like sa- you get the same low level guy answering the phone. <clears throat> Your watch door's office. You are watching what is going on? Put us through to Garak North. Garak North. Hold, let me see if he's available. Fucking middlemen. I'm, so, I'm sorry, the ambassador is still in negotiations. I have been instructed to tell you that you are permitted to do whatever is necessary to complete your mission. If something is in your way, you are permitted to destroy it. What is the punishment for violating the quarantine? It is death, of course, because they are infected. We must shoot them now. We have no choice. We'll see. <laughs> I believe I believe it's worth shooting them. We we should give them a chance to leave quietly first and deal with and let Absalom Station deal with them. If they refuse to leave on their own, then firing on them seems to be the best solution. Captain, that's up to you to tell them this. <laughs> okay. I'm a, I, I, I left as a, as, a, uh, uh, as a sergeant. I'm not a captain. I can't do this. <laughs> I'm an NCO. I'm not, I'm not getting a commission. We don't recognize that ship, except for them. Correct. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Trigger? <laughs> yeah. Are you on board with blowing these guys away? <laughs> 
It is it uh, a, Oh yeah. You don't recognize the type of ship. Is it a good ship? <coughs> Lollipop. For, it will destroy us. I went right there too. It is far more powerful. If they get in their ship, are they? Can, do they? They will be more powerful. What than are they doing right now? Are they walking back to their ship? Um. There's this. There's just the three of them. Um, one is the voice that <clears throat> um, Ghost recognizes. Um, you're welcome to see if Trigger can can um, listen in their conversation. We should shoot them. Oh, uh, you have it on mute, yeah? <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you put it on mute? I hope you put that on mute. Yes. <laughs> okay, then it's good. Just want to make sure. You know, I thought I've, I've got a great line for you. I'll give it to you in a minute if okay. you need it. All right. Target, lock on them. Who's on the computer? Who's on the targeting lock? You're the, uh, the science officer. Is she officer? also on there again? Yeah, they target weapon team? systems and stuff. You have a turret, I believe, in the, in the hippocampus. So. And a forward one. 24. What is that supposed to be? Computer targeting lock. All right. <clears throat> Do they... Uh, sense or do they uh, detect the targeting lock on them? How would they know? How would you, how would they know? How would you know? They could say... Hey, we see you're targeting us. <laughs> you just targeted us. You just target locked us. You are uh, coming back in. You are making a poor choice. Right. We only seek to discuss the situation. You have no right fortune. to be here. You need to leave immediately. I have recognized nothing of what you say about rights. You have two pieces of property that belong to us. We would like to discuss with them their future. We are I not your those property, about the... Argus. He is talking Get off the rock now and never come back, Argus. I believe he's talking about the goblins. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would he care so much about goblins? <laughs> you have a disguise kit. I have a disguise kit. Let's disguise the goblins. Aren't you still... Aren't you, still you, you, you hear in the, in the background... Disguised? Ghost? Ghost, you hear, you hear in the background uh, another, uh, another voice. Like there are another channel that's bleeding through. Mm -hmm. um, I told you, we should just shot him out of the sky. We should, just like we should have done when we first got here, we should have just blown up the pieces. And you recognize the voice as your chief rival at the academy oh, toward boy. the end of your days. So I'm trying to listen to the stage here that the encounter is on your power level. So let's blow them out of the sky. I muted it. <laughs> so let's blow them before they get into the sky. <laughs> Say again? I muted it. Oh, so oh, they can't hear thanks us. Thanks again. Yeah. Trigger. Yes. Is there something you're not telling us about these guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even know everything. Yeah. There's the null. Ghost looks to trigger. And then goes to Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? That was a point fart. Did we lose Mikey? Lose Mikey. He was there. I thought really I just saw his head move. No, no. no. There you Be go. allowed to... Is a bandwidth issue. Survive. Very ready. I wish we had any idea of what he was saying. We can't. We you're breaking you up all over. We can't understand you at all. You're all broken up. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Of course. Now that you're done. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Um, I was basically just saying now that these guys are so e they're at a level of evil. That uh, you've probably never seen before. They they need to get. We need to destroy them. They are not here to just talk to us. They they are here to kill us. Fire. While you're discussing, they move. Fire. In. While you're dis while you've been discussing this, they move into the cave entrance. I feel like we could just go and steal their ship. I like the way the lizard man thinks. Unless it was trapped. We should, or... we, 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 should, we should at least blow up their ship to start with. So they don't have a means of getting out. Do we have any sort of tractor beam or anything like that? No. We have a forward cannon and a turret. <laughs> and I got my finger right over that. How button. big is this cave entrance? Um, by the looks of it, it's probably about uh, 10 or 15 feet across. You can almost see the curve of it. I think. Yeah, I mean, I, I can move the guy out of the way here. You can see that. I mean, there it is. Yeah. Well, there Three it squares. Is. Our ship isn't much bigger than that. 
If bigger than that. No, I mean, our, our ship would have to go, go outside and we'd have to walk it. Options. It is a shame we did not capture any of the Akata alive. Because then we could put them on the ship. And then we could let them face the Akata. That would not be honorable. No, but it would be smart. <laughs> However, them waiting to ambush us is not honorable either. Ignoring our hails and our instructions... Well, they did respond. ...is without honor. Oh, so ah, because ignoring our instructions, some, uh, flying in the face of the government, by the ship. is dishonorable. Mm. If there were any more, it would be in the drift rock. We have searched the, the uh, Akira. The drift rock. You have no idea how many guys are in the ship or how many guys are in, in the caves. Can we say, can we tell anything about the ship in terms of the size of its complements or the power of its weapons or thrusters? Say, can we take 20 on a scan? You can try, um, but it does, it does have some, some shielding against scanning. Based on the mm -hmm. size of it and your experience, you guess it probably has a, a, a maximum crew of, uh, I won't say crew. Crew is how many people it has to operate, but it can also transport people. Mm -hmm. So at most, there's probably between 15 and 18 people, uh, half a dozen of which are related to the crew. What That's do you the maximum. Okay. So it's a transport ship, tr a troop transport. It's a little of everything. Trigar, what do you think we should do? I'm pretty sure that we need to kill them. We wait them out? The, the, the simple fact, the thing that makes me nervous is, 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 is what, if, what if they told other people they are now? That is true. More could be coming. And you know how the yeah. academy works. They yes. infiltrate and then they what destroy. Is, what is this academy, academy you speak of? Uh, it is a place Let's where we... Let's talk about it later. Okay, Trina. Right now, all of our lives are in danger. No, I'm not gonna just. We could easily we could easily blow up the ship and presumably kill anyone inside, but that does nothing for the three to fifteen, three to eighteen people that may are inside the cave. Oh, we do not know this. Well, couldn't we just blow up the engine? We just cave? watch three people walk into the just cave. besides these three bad guys. But if the, if the ship could hold up to eighteen, all of them could be in the cave for all we know. This would have been so much easier if you had just left the fucking box on the hippocampus and walked away. Because I would just autopilot the hippocampus away. You would have taken the zip line down and just stumbled onto them. <laughs> but you made it hard. <laughs> I'm giving you choices. Look, they didn't work out in my favor for a change. I know, right? <laughs> You're like gloating on it. You, sh you should gloat on it because it doesn't happen very often. It's fine. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> this is making... You got role play. You're learning more about characters' backgrounds. I've given you everything you wanted to do. I've, do, I've put you in a sticky situation. Our best, our best tactical solution, if our choice is to, is to destroy them, is to blow up the ship in the mouth of the cave and, and collapse the cave entrance on the remainder, on the remaining side. What if there is the uh, crew from uh, the Akira? Yeah. We, we know four are dead. What's the hell then? See if we get any response from them. You already tried that. There was no response from the well, ship. Now we're closer. You are? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. We're not going to get anything. It's been a week. I mean, the chances are if they left their ship a week ago, I mean, they, they don't have, have any they, food left. They must, have oh, had, okay. they must have had at least seventh level armor to be alive to this point. <laughs> we do, I don't think miners have seventh level armor. There are maybe so. oxygen that we do not know what is inside the, the rock. There are maybe places where they could have atmosphere. Uh, I think it is safe to presume see. them dead. They have not responded. I agree. I, and I, any soldier would understand. I at least he comes back because she's been busy scanning the rock as best she can, and she she tells you that there are definitely places of, of the rock that, that are appear artificial like this it's too smooth or not damaged in a, a, an appropriate manner hmm. that's interesting so what do we know about this rock is can, uh, can we scan the layout of that particular cave on this rock does it have any other entrances or exits you your scans do not find any other entrances or exits but then like where does the isn't our scans different. are wonky with this thing too right yeah, yeah. The, there's there, there, there's there's the Akata were, were in their hatch, they were in their egg form or whatever you want to call it, on the rock. They were brought aboard the ship by the miners. Yes. Uh, give me a, give me a life science check on the Akata, and I'll give you some more information. 
We have no idea how many there were. Presumably several. They brought many geodes. Seven. That's not a good roll for you. No. That's a natural one. That's a bad roll for you. I was going to say, what does your seven turn into? 28. <laughs> uh, Alisi's 28. Yeah. So Alisi spouts off a ton of facts. Um, Akata typically uh, exists in a uh, in one of two states. They're either in their geode, in, in their larval form. That typically ends up being in a vacuum or, or unlivable atmosphere. And then when it comes in contact with a, a human that it can host, it breaks free. So it really um, is like LB426. Sort of. It, <laughs> the, in, the, in this case, it uh, the, per your, the records of the Creon's log, they were scattered on the surface. They did not find any okay. um, in there. You, you're guessing they went in the cave. And they, where else would they go on the, on the drift rock? If that's where they were trying to escape to. Are there any other caves that we can see? Did we see your any other your caves? scans found no other caves. This is the only way into the rock. In fact, I will tell you that their scan uses that cave. When you when you when you looked at the at your at the captain's log and the other data, that's the only one they knew of as well. No. Seven corpses can be removed as easily as three. You mean what? us plus the two goblins, yes? Seven? I don't want to die yet! I, I'm talking about the three that we saw walk into the cave as well as the four remaining crew members from this ship. Uh, what is the language the if we were hired? What is the exact language? We were hired to investigate. <clears throat> and return a package. And protect the... rock? Or we, could, we have no... Right survey it? We investigate, survey, report back. <laughs> bless you. Oh, bless you. You have no tie to either crew. Yeah, it doesn't matter to us. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, the fact the fact is, until you go into the cave, you have not satisfied the investigate the drift rock. Oh, that's where the the uh, the trigger is for the uh, <laughs> for the quest to become accomplished. No, but I mean, what the point is, you're not gonna. You can say what happened, but you haven't investigated the drift rock. We can we investigate the entire surface of the drift rock. Captain, I have a ship just jump. We could sit out here for a couple weeks, let everybody in there starve, and then go dig them out. Let us go down now. We will face these people. They will try to take Trigger and myself. With your help, perhaps we can fight them off. And we can try to save whoever is left on the Ecreon and find the secret of the drift rock. I don't believe there's anyone from Ecreon still left after seven days. We see, we see no signs of life. They have not responded to our calls. I say we blow up the ship. That will drag them out of the... Uh, cave. Okay. Maybe we go down to a lower aperture so that anybody who sticks their head out, we, we can take out, so it keeps the integrity of the cave. But you know, Lizardman knows these. Those weapons are not precise. You blow the ship, we probably blow the opening to the cave as well. Eh. I've never been one to shy away from a fight. Tactically. Maybe we just hit the engines? You can try to target. Alice is good with the targeting. Is the worst thing that happens is it blows up. Mm. You did say the ship was deadly. If it gets off the, off the ground. And the people in the ship are even more deadly than the ship itself. I warn you, if you do this, you will be pissing off a very quiet, large organization. You will be making enemies for life. I believe I've already done that. <clears throat> Except my organization was not quiet. But it was quite large. <clears throat> are those the Hell Knights you are looking for? Uh, no, the Hell Knights are where I'm headed towards. You are leaving someone who you are pissed off. Yes, I'm leaving uh, the entire uh, Absalom station. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, the, uh, I forget the name yeah. of it. Uh, the corporation that runs the biotech too. around the, the center, of the, around the, the corona of the sun. Mm-hmm. Abacor. Abacor. Abacor? Abacor. Abacor? I could look it up, but I don't want to use my phone. The tuna fish? <laughs> Ab- Show up in the right place. So. Anyway, it's Nature Core. I think it's Nature Core. So, what is the plan, gentlemen? No, you just—it's in the sun section. Avalon. Oh, 
Avalon was the forge. Anyway, it's not that relevant. I was looking it up while you guys were talking. What is the plan? What should we do? Pew, pew, pew. Or land. And talk. Those are your choices, I think. <laughs> I can tell you I'm not good at talking. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's take out the dimensions, at least. Okay. Have that easy. Target the engine. We should give them a final warning. We, we already did. Alright. We're going to target their engines. Alright, give me a roll. I'll do engine targeting. Natural compound. Got a natural limited. one. <laughs> what was the name of the group? She natural is, Compounds Limited. She's unable to lock on the engines. Yeah, because she says you only get three to roll over. So if you got four, use one. <laughs> You can't, you can't do worse, but, can't you can't, do. <laughs> but what you can do is badly. Can't do much better. Do good job, right? Five. Her nice. computer's is a eight. So 13. She, she can aim at the back half of the ship. I feel like she could just take 20 on this. We have all the time in the world. She can't get a sensor lock. There's, so, there's something interfering with it, whether it's the drift rock or the vessel itself. or something. But she could take all the time she wants to get as high of a roll as possible. They have yeah. technologies that you I'm just saying, if a 20 is not good enough, I'm okay with that. I just don't think that we need to actually roll. <coughs> so, just a hand. Manual. Yeah. So, so, does that mean it's on me? I guess so. Mm-hmm. Requesting permission to fire. Permission granted. <laughs> firing auto cannon. Uh, I don't even know what I'm firing with. 12 plus <coughs> piloting? I believe that's, that's what the gunnery is. So that'd be a uh, 18. Targeting. To be continued. Ah! Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, good. I, it's, I mean, it's 10 after 11. No, that's good. No, that's that's good. great. I, I think that that's, it's a good place to stop only because whatever we do is going to take over an hour. Yeah. And also yeah. it gives Josh a week. I know. I, I, I know. Exactly. No, I know. I know. I know it's going to happen already. <coughs> but I figured that would be... We didn't account for the shields. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Firing was, lasers again. Firing phasers again. I, it was too good a place not to be too weak. That was, that was perfect. Oh, I didn't even see it coming. You know, Ghost was going to tell you more than Trigger uh, said we'll talk about it later. Yep. You guys are welcome to have that conversation via email. Oh, no. We'll do it on the I think recording. That, yeah, okay. I'm kind of... Okay. I, I, if the timing of what we may or may not learn is important, then we should do it at the You, you know what? Actually... Next week with Mikey here would be a great time to have that. I agree. Yeah. All right. So I want to get. So I I now have an official game night pad, so that I can keep track of everything. Oh, nice. So uh, at the end of the night, uh, Jeff, how many chips you got? Three. Three. Jules has three. Three. Adam has three. three. Mikey, I believe, has three as well. Yeah, I've got two. Yes, I got. Th- Bob has two. All right. Bob needs to make more good jokes. <laughs> He's too busy role playing. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we apparently we don't give Benny's for that. <laughs> Actually, I gave him one tonight. Yes, I got one. I, got I, one. I literally just gave him one like three months ago. <laughs> for playing his character background well. Mikey, safe travels. Looking forward to see you in person next week, man. That's gonna be great. Yes. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. All right, guys. Have a good week, and uh, I will see you next month. Next time in person. Sounds good, man. Bye, Take Mikey. Easy, buddy. Take care. Alright guys, take it easy. I hate knocking off early, but it just it works too. The timing is too good.